ladies and gentlemen, I am here. We are going to enjoy a little bit of a Sherlock Holmes game today, which I'm pretty excited for because it's kind of like a horror-esque Lovecraftian style. It's called Sherlock Holmes The Awakening, as you can see. Should be pretty fun. Uh, I did test it, so I have played through the first chapter, so I'm going to breeze through that. But uh, we're going to get into the game and just try to see how far we can make it. Fuck it, you know? This is Cthulhu-style Lovecraftian horror Sherlock Holmes, so it should be cool. And I'm pretty excited for it, actually. On that note, we're going to jump into the game. I'm not going to have any music playing for this. We're just going to do the game sounds. All right, here we go. Brand new game. We've got to set up our Sherlock and our Watson. Do we make our boys matchy-matchy is the question. Game sound should be fine. Yeah, we're doing a story game today. It's Watson. I have actually been to 221 Baker Street. Dr. Watson, way. would you kindly close the door behind you so that we can limit the price of your carelessness to merely hours of work rather than days? My apologies, Mr. Holmes. I found myself rather taken aback. <laughs> I saw tidier houses in war-torn Afghanistan. That is one thing. I did play a little bit. My surgical obedience. And like, Dr. Watson in this is like heavily about his time in Afghanistan. But I was the one who ate it. Hmm. I set it aside for this evening. And for that, I am grateful. Is that my bed? Watson, since you've proven yourself a master of observation, might I ask you to apply your skills to a more pertinent question? Namely, the whereabouts of today's newspapers. They are the key to everything. A newsboy is usually reliable. Medically speaking, I often find that the key to everything is good sleep. In a bed. Your papers are here, on the table. Alright, and we take over. See what the postman brought today. So I want to see if there's any other interactables. There's not. It's just us. Local gossip, all a bit uninteresting. Another letter from Verna. I never Fern. I keep coming. Your order from Barnes Bookshop has arrived, Doctor. Barnes insists on delivering the books to our door, even though we could easily walk to his shop. That's good service. All right, and we'll have to get dressed soon. I don't see the strand. Where is it? Pardon me? I am on the precipice of uncovering a pattern of crime across London spanning many months and involving many men. The missing paper cannot be a coincidence. That's preposterous. My dear fellow, life is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man can invent. I'm excited for this. Your newspaper to wipe its posterior. So after that unpleasant discovery this morning, I disposed of it. But in lieu of the strand, perhaps I can deliver you something equally tantalizing. I have just returned from a patient of mine, Captain Stemwick, who... No, no, that will not do. Grab your coat, Dr. Watson. Let us hope nobody has collected the dustbin. <laughs> so, it's time to play dress up a little bit first. We have many outfits to choose from. I'm thinking that the peacoat looks pretty good, but there's also the Navy officer's uniform, which looks good. You can also do the Marine uniform as well, which would be closer to what I was. Oh, joy. What do I do? You know what? I'm thinking the peacoat for this one. Uh, we'll give him the... We'll give him the bowler hat. Nothing there. Nothing there. We'll just do all this because the facial hair looks like shit in this game for some reason we don't need him bruised up and now Watson Watson gets a bowler too fuck it we're doing bowlers that's what I'm talking about indeed all right 
Off we go. Yes, I already did that. Not the cactus spine. If it gets in your skin, it's awfully tricky to remove, and when laced with poison, the perfect assassination tool. That it is. You were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. See, Watson, the conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison Someone you? tried to poison me. Get the strand. Get your Go talk to the kid. Times. I just sold my last paper. Blast. And then why are you still here? Boss pays by the hour. No sense in returning early. Any breaking news today? The dock accident. It's the talk of the town. Yes, yes. Besides the tripe on the front page. We're going to be a super detective today. I'm not sure, sir. You're a bright child. I presume you see everything that goes on around here? Nothing gets past me, mister. Then tell me, did you notice anyone suspicious at my door this morning? Hmm. Like the man with your newspaper? Like the man with Precisely. your newspaper? What do you know? Alright, that's going to hold for a sec. Where's ghost chat? Hold on. Ghost chat is not showing up. Oh, there it is. Let me just activate this one more time real quick so that I can make it better. And vanish. There we go. Did you see what he was up to? Nah, not really. I saw him approaching your house, but I had a customer. Then there's a loud bang. I don't think Loud bang. Not because I was scared because I wasn't. I had to protect the merchandise. And all I could see was him kneeling at your door. Which way did he go? Not sure. I was distracted by customers. Sorry. It's Mr. Barnes. Can you describe the man you saw? He was carrying a lot of books. Up to his chin they were. Never heard of a well-read uh, assassin. That's a notice it. Books can deceive. Hence the appeal of disguises. All right. You earned your shilling. That'll be all. Thanks, Mr. Holmes. Maybe I could be your eyes and ears if you have more shillings. If you have more shillings. So, that's casebook stuff. That's fine. We got more stuff for the casebook. The strand. Get your copy of the strand so, I believe that it's this way to get to Barnes's bookstore. Can I do this first? I can talk to the dog. What's your name? Lily, I know. Not very original. The weather is dreary, isn't it? We're going to end up having to talk to her anyway. I'm on a break, he says. Wait, what am I supposed to do right now? Oh, is it this? Yeah, it's this. Barnes, the local bookseller, ruined it. Come now, Mr. Holmes, murder? Yes, Barnes has his quirks, but he also has his scruples. Not every pawn. So now he's not on a break anymore. Before we talk to him, we'll just do this. Imagine anything more macabre. So, Barnes has a dog now. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Hey, Mr. Barnes. <laughs> Bags under the eyes. Look at his butt real quick. Nothing suspicious about the butt. Heavily on his right leg. And high heels to look taller. Mr. Barnes, a word. <gasps> We're just gonna be speed running the start of this until we get through to the chapter. Oh, for goodness sake. Chapter two is where I started basically. Or where I ended yesterday. Who, uh, who goes there? Sherlock Holmes. Now will you please? Mr. Holmes. Golly, I did not see you coming. Really? Because you looked right at me. Answer some questions for me. Well, I 
wish I could, but I am deep in the weeds with work. How about we uh, reschedule in a month or two? Come now, Mr. Barnes. It will only take a moment. Really deep in the weeds with, uh, with important things. Important well, things. Sell to any book, just take me to pay later. I trust you, Mr. Holmes. Barnes oh, you know. doesn't seem like himself. Why is he acting this way? You're asking the right questions, Doc. The ladder is broken. broken ladder. Recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. Okay, there's that. Got to do the books. Basics of crypto analysis, cryptography in Egypt. It appears Barnes has an interesting hobby. This should go fairly quick. In the language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced. An improvised stand. But it does make the flowers more visible. Uh, I forget where the last one is here. The power of love, blood and mandrake. What is this one? Mystery of Edwin Drood? Finest view London has to offer. Ta da! I don't believe there's anything else in here, but we do have to go out and talk to the lady after reviewing her plants. The pot is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. Familiar spine. It's what I found in my dustbin. Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses. Our national emblem. God save the queen. <laughs> it must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. All right, now we talk to her. Then we can get Mr. Barnes to come out. Let's observe her real quick. Wearing makeup. Distant look. Morning brooch. Cleaned boots. Am I missing something? Oh. My condolences, Mrs. Fleming. Mr. Holmes? Your husband's death. You're clearly still in mourning. Oh, no. I loved him more than anything, of course, but that was some time ago now. Life, Life goes, on. goes on. A lesson we all learn, one way or another. All right. I don't know anything about this. Sorry. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things is not like the, the other. Those fearsome spines can prove a devil to remove, and the sap is often toxic. And a rose thorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow them. The cactus seems comparatively harmless. Though you have me thinking it must be valuable. I was under mm -hmm. the impression that you knew its price already. Your guess is as good as mine. The first time I saw this cactus was when I came back from my break. Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, with Mr. Not Barnes? Really. Well, in a way. Are you familiar with Mr. Mr. Barnes? I know who he is, of course. But we haven't shared much more than a look. A look? Yes. I'll Each do morning, what you I go say. for a walk in the park with my dog, and most days I spot Mr. Barnes there with his new puppy. So we see each other. Actually, we once met briefly while our dogs played. He was quiet and seemed unsteady as he approached. But since then, we've never spoken. I often see him staring through the shop window. Sometimes I wonder what he thinks about that would ever you, such long actually. his face. He likes you. Uh, dead flowers on display. The flowers in Barnes shop window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean they anything to you? Mean off. anything how? I'm not sure I follow, Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It seems likely, does it not? Oh, I hope you're right. Oh, she likes them. So now... Do, do, do. Potentially poisoned. This one. 
this one. And this one. I believe. That was wrong. Okay, so do, 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 roses for sale. No. Cactus in a cracked pot. Oh, that was the wrong one. Okay, this one. He's in love with Mrs. Fleming. So now we can go talk to him. I uh, think perhaps I have been chasing shadows. Do not despair, Mr. Holmes. Even the best of us make mistakes. We better tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. Mr. Barnes. Mr. Barnes. I know what you did, and I know why you did it. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. I can't hear you very well. He's a sheepish man. I couldn't read this morning's edition of The Strand because it was covered in soil and spines. I know you dropped a cactus on it and then fled. You ordered a cactus from the plant catalogue and then left it for Mrs. Fleming as a gift. You placed flowers in the yes, window to get her attention and wear high heels to appear taller and more desirable. You are her secret admirer. You. Barnes? It's Dr. Watson. Rest assured, we are not interested in disclosing your personal affairs to anyone, including Mrs. Fleming. Please come out. Uh, all right, then. He is a very sheepish man. So, you know what happened, then? I was on my way back from the post office, having picked up the cactus and some books. It was quite an awkward package, heavy too. And when I got to your door, I dropped the cactus in your paper. Forgive me. I needed that paper to prove a theory and prevent a crime. Your actions were rather disruptive. Your clumsiness carrying the post is matched only by the clumsiness of your romantic gesture. <laughs> oh, it's true. I am useless for this sort of thing. I'm not even sure if Mrs. Fleming noticed. I have neither the experience nor the interest in navigating the finer sex and their peculiarities. Do what you will. Oh, right. Yes, of course. So at last, we return to the matter of the paper. I'm investigating. I'm going to up the quality here in a second. Did you perhaps read of any before the edition was spoiled? I don't recall, but you're welcome to read our copy for yourself. You had an issue of the Strand here all along? Well, naturally. I am a bookseller. I have a subscription to every magazine and newspaper in London. So you ought to be familiar with the concept of burying the lead. I <coughs> Oh no, uh, my apologies, Mr. Holmes. I'll make it up to you however I can. I am an expert on obscure languages and translation and and uh, yes, yes. That's okay. good to know Just actually. Give me the paper. Uh, Port of London, Saltpeter, the Mushkva. It had an explosion. A bunch of salt Peter in the water. Dr. Watson, let us put this matter behind. All right, let's uh, up the quality a bit. Let's go post processing highest. Let's we'll put everything on highest. Not epic. Cactus. Farewell, All right. Mr. Barnes. I hope let's you get good news about you and Mrs. Fleming. Well, that was an utter waste of time. An assassination did seem rather unlikely. There was supposed to be another burglary. I was certain of it. Hmm. Something you wish to say, Doctor? No. Well, only that you have a remarkable faculty for deduction and pattern recognition. And that perhaps, if ill-applied, I see things that are not there. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is London. There will always be burglaries. I'd love to go after Moriarty at some point. But I don't so think that's seems. in this game. Forgive me. Without something to occupy my mind, I turn into an entirely different animal. Which brings us back to my news from earlier. I think I have a case for you, a real one. Truly? Indeed. Truly? Though perhaps not as thrilling as your stories from Cordona. A patient of mine, Captain Stenton. These guys don't blink. That his oh, wait. <laughs> yes, they do. I said I knew just the man to help. What do you say? Oh, Watson. Yes, I know it's not the most tantalizing mystery nor the story to launch. It's still my pretty good though. Career, but it's brilliant. Let's go. Let's oh, swap things well, up and let's put us well, both in tan. Since I'm feeling in a tan Come. mood today. Uh, see. Uh, 
Oh, which one? The light suit or the dark suit? The dark suit just fits better, I think. He's got to have his bowler on. Yeah, that looks good. What is going on on the shoulders there? Not much further now. Is this lousy attitude of yours because of my altercation with Inspector Lockhart? Did he put you up to this? Sir, this guy's a bit of a dick. Inspector has nothing to do with it. I'm telling you the same thing I tell anyone seeking a missing person. <clears throat> Good day, gentlemen. Forgive the intrusion. Captain Stenwick, this is my colleague Sherlock Holmes, the consulting detective I told you about. At last, a professional. This useless officer refuses to do anything about <sighs> me here. My Give me here. Sword. What was your name again? I shall be certain to inform your superiors. Sergeant Ruffles. It is my Sergeant who made Ruffles. This decision, sir. Sergeant Ruffles is what you named the bulldog on the police force. Have there been other disappearances lately? Of course, here and there. But when life is tough and opportunity comes knocking, you can't blame those who answer. And why won't you investigate? Why has the police department decided not to help? We investigate murders, thefts, fraud, arson, real crimes. A servant walking away from his master is not our highest priority. That said, if we find Kimahia breaking the law, we'll be sure to notify Captain Stenwick. Now, I must be off. Best of luck in your search. You heard that, didn't you? The way that man spoke to me. I shall need your... Shut the fuck up, rich bastard. Lodge a complaint. Captain, perhaps Mr. Holmes' time is better spent learning about your servant, so that he may begin his investigation. Ah, yes. Quite right. Oh, yeah. Tell me about him here. He's foreign. A Maori. All the way from New Zealand. Biggest man you've ever seen. And as strong... What happened to Old Zealand? Dark hair and fearsome tattoos. Was that Australia? Speak a wit of English. Never bothered to learn. <laughs> but I made do with pointing. I invested a lot of money in him, so he must be found. When did you last see your servant? Kimmy here normally brings me the morning papers, but yesterday I had to see <sighs> them myself. He must have escaped the night before yesterday. May I see your servant's bedroom? This shack is in the garden. You can't miss it. Did you search the room? Of course, but only to check he wasn't lying dead inside. Everything seemed normal at the I need to mix Watson up a little bit more as well. Is there any reason Kimahia may have left? I should they change the suits again. My guys have to match. Gainful employment, new clothes, and all the cabbage he could eat. Did Kimahia make off with anything of value? Heavens no. I would have mentioned it to Sergeant Ruffles. Sergeant Still, Ruffles. must have paid with some money on his person. No, no. I kept his wages in my safe. For security. I take it this is the first time Kimahia has vanished? Undoubtedly. The man seemed terrified of the city. I think it was all the noise. He never left this estate. Should he cause any damage, I will bear the responsibility. For it was I who rescued him from savagery and brought him here to England in the first place. All right, Captain. I think I have enough to get started. We shall first take a look around the mansion. Go ahead. I'll be here, mentally drafting my complaint. Cool, you do that. Uh, We're good. We're going to take the hat off. Watson. We don't need to go beaten and bruised. Watson, you need to be a bit more like me. There we go. We're better set now. Let's go, Watson. First things first. A shoe print, roughly size 11, with a worn out sole. These are a workman's boots, chewing tobacco. Looks like a new print. Someone knelt here. The amount of chewing tobacco suggests they were waiting a while. Uh, let's see, case book. Pin. Excuse me, Mr. Holmes, to read the ground like an open book. No, it's not Kimihia. I gotta do all the other stuff first. Could have left these tracks. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. The 
rag reeks of smoke. Someone plugged the chimney. Someone plugged the chimney. Gotta go inside. A scrap of hessian. These were sturdy boxes. It would have required a serious blow to break them. Cool. Done with that. We go over here. A small navy spyglass. Impressive. The sack of grain retained the shape of an impact. Someone hit their head here. <laughs> okay, back out. Yep. Supposed to be a key right there. A Maori nose boot. Ngurus, they're called. Clothes made of Hessian. This thing really surmises. Is this a Tanifa? A Maori. A Tanifa. Or something else? Either way, it's giving me chills. No air coming through it. All right. Do this. Button chops. The remains of a meal. chemical odor. Lend me your nose, doctor. Ah, I'll never forget that smell after my time in Afghanistan. The ashes are long since That's an opioid, Mr. Holmes, and not cocktail. All right, that part's done. Uh, that doesn't look right. Uh, what was the next thing in here? No. I've only got one of each. Can I not search for this? Spyglass, clothes made of Hessian. Key without an unusual hole. I need to pin this. There's that one. Pin this. This isn't correct. There's some more stuff I gotta find. There we go. Someone moved a cart to this spot and then took it elsewhere. Can't see it anywhere in the garden. Uh, let's see. Can we hear shack? There's this one. There's supposed to be another one right here. I do believe I have to go talk to... Oh, wait. It's not that one. I think I gotta go talk to the guy real quick. Because I don't think there's anything else here for me. Yeah, there's nothing on this side. I have to actually talk to him. Find out what he knows about some stuff. door to your garden has an interesting lock. Yes, I have uncommon locks on every door of my mansion. It makes them harder to pick. Kimmy here and I both <sighs> had a set of keys. I'll need to borrow them. No, you'll need to do what I tell you to do. Fuck you. Examine the garden. <sighs> you going with Just tell them about everything. I thought you were meant to be intelligent. I thought you were meant to be intelligent. I thought you were meant to be intelligent. It. Could it be Kimmy here's, perhaps? I doubt it. I never saw him with it, nor could I suggest how he might have come by it. The spyglass, I believe that was. Yeah. I came across a pile of Hessian clothes in the shack. Are they Kimahir's? Yes. I had to give him something to clothe himself. 
He seemed unfazed by his bare skin, but I found it distracting. Uh, chewing tobacco? Here ever indulged in tobacco? No, the man doesn't even drink. Are you certain? I found chewing tobacco in the garden. I controlled Kimihir's expenses since he struggled with the currency. I would have known if he used tobacco. Do you happen to know Kimihir's shoe site? I wouldn't have the foggiest, but I'm sure it was enormous. Not that it matters. He spent his life barefoot. Despite my best efforts, he simply did not take to shoes. All right, now we can go do all these things. So that's not correct. That's correct. That one. That one. There's one over here. Which I can't do yet. I don't know what that one does. Oh, it's for outside. That's right. So now, validate. Surveilling from afar, the intruder waited for a window of opportunity. When Kimmy here went to sleep, the man crept up to the shack and slipped narcotics down the chimney pipe. Why they wanted Kimmy here, I have no idea. Kimmy here inhaled the sedative and fell into a deep sleep. The intruder tried to move him, but the man was heavier than expected. The intruder fell on the sack and dropped his spyglass. In order to transport the servant, he had to use the cart. The final challenge was opening the garden door. Luckily for our intruder, Kimahir had the key in his shack. Goddamn, goddamn. Alright, and that leads us to the mine palace. What are the notable features of the abductor? The spyglass. Uh... Uh, clues in Steinweg's garden, I think. Oh, it's another blue one. Uh, chewing tobacco. Only one of those was right. Uh, okay. The strand. And the trail? No. Okay, uh... I don't think I have... I have one more I can connect here. Cloth and chimney can be here as a direction. Sandwich mansion, one of the footprints. Okay, so that's two. Uh, the trail. The strand. I can't do anything after this. All right, so I need to go talk to the guy real quick. Let him know what's going on. Captain Stenwick. You'd best have found something by now, gentlemen. Found plenty. I found the residue of narcotics in Kimihir's brazier. There are several explanations, perhaps your servant's recreational interest, or an attempt at poisoning. Cut to the chase, Mr. Holmes. I hear that someone may have spied upon Kimihir. Might be the owner of the spyglass I found earlier. It appears they were watching for some time, as there was an impressive amount of chewing tobacco on the ground. An impressive amount of chewing tobacco. You said that you checked the shack earlier. Did you notice the cart tracks near it? Now, one ought to expect a servant to make regular use of such a thing. Indeed, I would have overlooked the detail were it not for the cart's absence. If, as you say, Kimahir never leaves your estate, 
And where did it go? I expect answers from you, Mr. Holmes. Not, Not questions. questions. I won't keep you in suspense any longer, Captain. Him here was abducted by the owner of the spyglass. When your servant fell asleep, he slipped a narcotic into Kimahir's brazier to make him sleep even more soundly. In order to carry a man as large as Kimahir, the intruder stole the cart and rolled him right out of your garden. Now, hold so on. simple. All this simply to tell me what I already know. Honestly, Why not being Sherlock Holmes, I probably could have figured I that out only myself. Arrived a moment ago. It is, frankly, incredible that I have already deduced so much. Every second you dawdle here, waiting for me to I hate you. your ego, give me your key. Another second wasted. I'm not interested in the how, the why, or the who. I am only interested in recovering my investment. Spare, Spare me the, the clap trap, trap boy, boy. And go and fetch my boy. Truly, there is no better evidence of a man's nature than the way he treats those who help him. We get to sell him and off a little you, bit. sir, are a brute. The cruelty of your ignorance about the Maori people. Your selfish attitude to a man's kidnapping. Uh, the point is, Captain, we're telling you this for a reason. The intruder fled through the garden door, and we need a key to follow his trail. Well, then you should have led with that. Here you go. I hope you'll return soon with good news. And in the meantime, please teach your companion the art of brevity. Teach yourself some fucking manners, bitch. All right. Uh, let's see. Just get rid of all these. Oh, that's right. We we don't know the remnants of the abductor. That'll be outside. Spyglass. I don't think was right. That's right. We go outside first. Which we don't really need the key. We could have just gone outside and not done it with the key. Because there is a back way. But we might as well do this. Uh, let's see. And now we find it. Sailor's knot. Sturdy rope. Professionally tied in a Portuguese bowline. This knot is often used by sailors to create wheels picked up grass along the way. Kimahir's it's a sailor. Together. A strange substance. I have my suspicions based on the color and consistency, but would you care to hazard a guess, Doctor? Saltpeter. Roy Salisbury. Would that be the name of our man? Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say salt. Salt pita. Then we're in agreement. Well done. All right, and that leads us to notable features of the abductor: spyglass and footprints, and then wallet with salt peter. Oh no, that's right. It's the sailor's knot. Kimmy Hugh was kidnapped by a sailor. I agree. And then this one, the trail leads to unpin that. No. Calling card. And then this is abductor as a sailor. Oh, we missed on the blue. Okay. Um follow the salt peter? There we go. And now we have to go to the port of London. The strand proved not so useless after all. The saltpeter accident, Doctor, do you recall? The port of London, of course. The port Off we go. The spyglass. Indeed, we shall need to take a cab there. And this is where we take the cab and we go to the place that I haven't been yet. Where to go? The port of London, please. I will show you where to stop.
Chapter 2, The Blood Red Knights. <laughs> Game's actually kind of fun. I like the investigation aspect to it. Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Huh. One kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad This is where we find out Watson's I'll superstitious. The superstitious type, Doctor. Such Why am I now wearing a fucking top hat? I don't have a top hat on. One imagines a physician I did not put that outfit sure on. Footing in reality. Perhaps before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once I came across an Abka, bleeding. Oh, I could not save. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that... Dr. Watson? Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but sometime later I found myself lost in the desert. Dehydration set in, and things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer, placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were <coughs> Yes. A detachment of British soldiers found me, to whom I'm grateful. But without their diligence, you would not be standing here and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes. But I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods. To it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kimmer here? Yes, why indeed. Now, did it actually put me... It put me in the top hat. Okay. Ask bystanders about a piece of evidence. Press C to open the case book. Pin the evidence X. Then speak to someone. Try it now with the calling card. So it wants me to do... This. And we're in a whole new section. Yes, okay. So, bystanders, it says. Oh, hardly a reputable establishment. I've seen worse. Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. Let's see. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in the ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. Third pier. Let's observe her real quick. Pale and chapped lips. She doesn't get out much. Vomit stains. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. Unaware of her pregnancy. Well, she clearly has yet to know she's trying to hide her soul in while wearing trousers that are too tight for her. Unaware. I didn't know that I could choose on that. Miss, what if I told you that you are in the family way? No, really? Oh, thank you, sir. How would I, a single she knew. woman, have ever known without your help? You must be a doctor. In a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. Would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. Ah, uh, she's trying to hide it. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. Let's provide the calling card, shall Are we? Are you familiar with a Roy Salsby? Roy Salsby? Hmm. I know the name. Uh, he's not one of my regulars. My guess is that he works somewhere around here. Ah, good to know. Well, that was the ask of her. What was that jump? 
there anybody over here? No. Let's talk to this guy. Are you able to help me? Ah, of course, sir. Come on, story short. Usually wanders close to the dockyard. Okay. Good to know. Is there anybody in that direction? Probably. Is this familiar to you? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about it. I know nothing. Let's check over here real quick. Is there a doctor? The man is very sick here. It sounds as though those people will need my help. <laughs> Let's see. Could you help me? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. Should ask someone else. Let's uh let's just talk to people. Hello, this is Dr. Watson. We'll take a look at your friend. Initial stages of necro necrosis. Freshly dug up treasures, it seems. Everything ends up in a river. It's a good thing these people take something. This subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. The water has a curious whitish tinge to it. Dilated pupils, decolorized skin, necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? All signs point towards acute poisoning. It could possibly be due to chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions yet. It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them for staying at home. What are you looking at? Do you like to watch our man suffocate himself for food? Sorry, damn. Won't go away and the do Can I ask you a question? I wish I could be of help, but I can't. Sorry. Well, it says he can usually be found at the dockyard. Uh, there's a note here. Gervish missing for a week. Please tell him if you see him. Ask Daya at Fort Shantytown. Red rag over the house entrance. That's got to be a side mission. Don't know if over here there will be anything. No, you're of no help. Just make our way through a little bit. Is this familiar to you? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. I know nothing about this. That's the same voice on the other guy. Let's take a look around a bit. Miles Alton swear. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Oh, the haunted warehouse, Is yeah. May have gone to watch the ship that exploded yesterday near the third pier. Can I ask you a question? I wish I could be of help, but I can't. Sorry. All right, Mr. Soulsby, let's go. The third pier. What is this? The first one? This is pier three. You. Could you help me? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. I'm going to ask you another question anyway. Oh, okay, never mind, I can't. Is this familiar to you? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. They could have very easily have distinguished multiple voice actors, but they didn't. Could you help me? No, sir, I've never heard of it. Same guy as before. Which is fine. Is this the ship that exploded? It looks like it. You. You're Roy, aren't you? Yep. Not in the mood, mate. Shoo. Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy. Oh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now, what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up everywhere. She has badgered me twice now, and I still don't know nothing. And this woman don't know nothing. Found? No clue. She was talking gibberish. 
Now, where was I? Observe him real quick. We have to. Let's see. Five feet, five inches tall. Average. That's average. I'm taller than average. It's crazy. Stamp ink stains. HM Cuss. Her Majesty ship what? No muscle tone. He's not brawny. This isn't the guy. <clears throat> A customs officer. Only a corrupt custom officer can afford such thing. He's a thief. God, which one? I would think he'd be a corrupt officer, but he looks kind of thiefish, doesn't he? I'm going to go with corrupt officer. Seen this before? But the card? Where did you dig that up? At a crime scene near Baker Street involving a young servant's kidnapping, I might add. I. I. No. Mm -hmm. Someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? That boat explosion stopped most traffic coming into the port. Guess I'll be without work for a while. Wonder why people are going missing. Puts a man on edge, you know. Hmm. Cigars worth a lady, yes. I still feel like I have more to do with you. Uh, let's pin that real quick. I need a little Dutch courage to walk in this fog. That's not what you want, okay? Hmm. But I'd have to walk through the fog to get to the pub. Let's see what we got here. Uh, who abducted Kim? 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 Kim B B Oh, I only I don't have enough for this. What about this one? Doubt that's right. Yeah, none of them are right. Okay. That's just cruel, that. So there's a foreign woman. It's a large harbor. If our kidnapper is hiding here, finding him won't be easy. Huh. What to do? What to do? Gotta ask people about stuff. Hmm. About this, I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Author Dia lives in the port shanty town, Red Hat. I wonder if she has something to do with it, but can you satisfy my curiosity? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Nobody knows anything. Okay, um. Probably the barmaid. She probably knows people. You don't know shit, do you? Do you know anything about this? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. Oh, you know what? I didn't search around Roy. Hold on. We just kind of let him off scot-free. There's no way he's innocent in all this. Yeah, no, there's nothing. Damn it. All right. Slight bit of a dead end. Foreign woman. He doesn't know nothing about shit. Push over the barrel. Let's just continue on. What's the drunk guy know? Are you able to help me? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Okay. Okay. 
Excuse me, just one question. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. Just so but you guys know the answer about something. Do you know anything about this? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Okay. No one here knows nothing about nothing. Hello, Good Inspector. Evening, Constable. I heard some people talk oh, this is a part of the side mission. In this warehouse. <sighs> oh, gossips, all of them. An old lady neighbor saw some lights in ghostly shapes in the middle of the night. She heard music too. Turns out this was the warehouse of Grandpa Kujak. He owned a business with theater props for scary shows. I went in and... Well, it is a bit creepy. But I think it was probably just some kids fooling around. Do you mind if I take a look inside? Not at all. It's like Madame Tussauds, only worse. I'll be on the beat round the pub for the rest of the night. Damned explosion. Good night, sir. So I can just go in now and do that. But I'll investigate that later. Ah, it's a side mission. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and take a look. An effective contraption. It still works. Hmm. So there's lights. There's footprints. Oh. Okay. Missing crates. crates are missing. No brand or markings. It looks like a bulk product. Bottles of various shapes and sizes. I detect a mix of chemicals and aromas. A small cart left those tracks. Gonna have so much on this. Inspired by the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Looks like there's an actual person inside of it, though. There was a box in the coffin. It was removed quite recently. Sure looks like it. Casket and left marks. That's a left-handed mark. There's a third one here somewhere. Can't find the third one. There is one more. But I think I need to open the casket for it. They opened the casket and left marks. I can't really get inside. Doesn't look like there's anything else inside. How can I help? I could try and flag someone down. There's no yellow anywhere. Nothing's new. I think maybe there's another light somewhere or something. Excuse me, Watson. Phosphorus used recently. Where is this going? Footprint going up the wall. Onto the ceiling. Somebody had fun. Sure looks like it. Uh, maybe, but I don't think so. What's the next one look like? <laughs> That looks pretty good, but let's see what the other one is. Yeah, no, no. 
Yeah, this is going to be a typical explanation. It's going to be normal. That's most likely the ghost the old lady saw through the window. What's through here? What's the way out? There's probably something outside. Who is this intended to scare? I'm still missing a piece of evidence. I think it's probably outside. Can't move that way. That's the way out. It's not Kimmy, he is. Seastone of the warehouse had a business and theater props. The constable can be found around the Curse Me pub after the search, which should be beneath him. Carriage portrait, we're going to know. I think these are the ones that we're doing. Like, this has another thing that I can't change to because I don't have all the evidence. There's another piece of evidence here. So, oh, here we go. A herbal odor with an acidic base. Liquor? It's a smuggling operation. That's what it is. It is a smuggling operation. Can I not validate this? Like the whole ghost thing's not real. What's the other one look like? A man inside? No. So it's this. Validate. There we go. Played with phosphorus to give the illusion of ghosts or ectoplasm. In reality, they were here to mix a few ingredients and prepare a solution of some sort. Then they took a box hidden inside the casket, and they left through that gate with a small cart. Mm-hmm. I love the investigation thing. I do. Tracks lead this way. Do they continue leading this way? No, they gotta go this way, right? Uh huh. Doctor Tippett's electric hecto brain, patent medicine of the future. This is a patent medicine. A quick fix at an expensive price that drags the patient slowly into death. Is this familiar to you? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. I know nothing about this. Let's just check through here real quick. There's a thing down here. A pile of rotten food. Carries danger, but not of the kind that we witnessed. Okay, so just random food. I'm thinking the cart goes the other direction. Because it goes here. Like the trail goes through here. And I think it goes this way. There's a cart. Oh, there's more stuff here. I don't really want to talk to you. Let's talk to the officer. Ghosts? I did when I was a kid. My older brother used to creep outside and whisper at me through the window. Papul, Papul, this is Grandma. He was <coughs> in a deep voice. It was scary. 
He became a grave digger, so I dumped him. Alright, so you're useless. There's people. Wait, is that what's going on with this, maybe? To watch our man, may I ask you something? Seal for food? I think I can help you. Can be found in Shanty Town, it is dispensed in a yard to the sick and suffering. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Are you able to help me? I can't tell you because I don't know. Uh, there's gotta be a thing. Who, uh, who abducted where this is all Kamiya? This isn't what I need. decomposing for weeks if this were the origin of the disease it would have started sooner than a few days ago the waterway goes under the buildings we'll need to find other open sections in order to continue our search can we just go through the building no of course not if we stay out much longer i'm going to need some supper do you feel like a meat pie i kind of do feel like a meat pie actually where are we Field hospital. The cart from warehouse two. Mm-hmm. I can hear the patient suffers with their lungs. Hello, doctor. Very young. Got a book in his hand. Almost a doctor. Green phosphorus. This is the man. Good intentions, but good intentions are a poor substitute for expertise. See, under the medical university, hardly claim his doctor title. His hands are stained by phosphorus, most likely for the property. He's going to book the He's trying to make a quick buck by exploiting people's naivety and despair. I mean, he's in like a little triage. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Good evening, sir. Are you the gentleman who sells that intriguing pecto brain beverage? Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Thomas Tippett, and yes, you're not a doctor. A proud inventor. He's a char charlatan. Are you a doctor? You seem remarkably young. <laughs> I'm self-educated. I help people in need around these parts with my medicine. Helping, as in bringing to the grave. That is unfair, sir. The virtues of my invention are to calm the nerves, to stop coughing due to the endless smog, and to help children to sleep. Has your beverage been tested by your peers or any medical authority? I am a doctor, and it appears that you are playing with people's lives, people who place their trust in you to ease their pain. People need help, and drugs are expensive. That they are. formula helps, and it's inexpensive. The product is dispensed from here only, so dose and usage are controlled. I looked into other patented medicines. Patented. They contain patented. harmful or useless substrate. And they're sold in respected shops and pharmacies. Do you realize what you are doing? You are playing with people's health. You are a doctor. You tell him, Watson. Take a look at my product. You won't find mercury, radium, lithium, or any other toxic substances drowned in alcohol and sold freely by so-called health professionals. I can show you how I work. Let me help people. Watson, what do you make of this situation? I, I'm not sure. Patent medicines can be a scourge, yes. But he is not entirely wrong in practice. Why the haunted warehouse? Well, nobody was using it, and people are afraid of ghosts. It kept them away until today. What I do is not entirely legal, but I do help people. Do you know? We don't have a mind palace about this. I help up to 50 people here every day. 50? Jesus. All right, so we got to go tell the cop. What's going on? Hi, pig. Let's go tell the cop what's up. Hello, officer. God, do I report him or do I lie? This is 
tough. I think I have to report him, right? I have to report him. My name is Dr. Watson. A man called Thomas Tippett has opened a field hospital nearby and is selling illegal medicine there. He is using Warehouse 2 for his smuggled product. Please stop him. I knew it was a swindle. Real ghosts don't look like that. I'll check on this crook right away. Okay, you do that. That was an interesting little side mission. Vogel's glasses. Hold on, we got something? What are you boobing about? Hello. Trust. How are you? <laughs> oh, very, very spiffy indeed. But I don't think we need glasses. I did get a new outfit. Oh. I get a pistol? I think with this it looks good. Watson? Let's go back to this for you. I am Spiffer. Alright, let's uh, check in about a foreign woman. Provide evidence. What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. Any I clues? To understand what she was saying. Okay. What can I get you? Let's check the case book. Tiredness, happiness, and depressed. Well, at least two out of the three are good. Tiredness and happiness are good. Tiredness means you did a lot and you can take a rest. And happiness because of so. I'm guessing from your workout. Not entirely sure what to do right now. Let's see... I did find the source of the thing. Where are the sick mudlarks at? Excuse me. Excuse me, just one question. Oh, you went to work today? Gotcha. Excuse me, out of the way. You're unhelpful, so therefore get out of the way. Working tomorrow and Thursday? Yeah. You gotta make time for it here and there. Oh, I thought he had something sticking out of his shoulder. Jesus. Um. They said the foreign woman. Bulk could be in where a size 11 shoe with worn out soles. We need to find the mudlark thing. You, sir. For your assistance. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. They do know the answer, though, don't they? I'm just running around aimlessly at this point because I don't know exactly where to go for this. What's down here? I haven't been this way. You, sir. May I ask you something? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. Hi, it's Jamaican. It's 11. You, sir. Excuse me, just one question. Sorry, sir. I can't help you. 
could you help me? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Is this familiar to you? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Hmm. Not exactly sure where to go. Perhaps Dr. Watson could help. I need to go find the mudlark thing again. Uh, I think it was this way? Oh. A recent cart crash. Bonus section in the game menu? Oh, there's a... What is this? Oh, the worker's apron. Okay. Let me check my case files. Let's see. Search for the source of the contamination led to a small bridge. There are cart tracks near the barrier that looks like a cart has fallen sideways under the pressure of its weight. I prefer this. He looks spiffy. I mean, I did don't know how I got to finding that there. What is this red cross on the door? Hmm. I just need to find my way back. Real quick. No idea where I am. I am fucking lost. Oh, here's the uh, sick people. Let's see. Perhaps Watson could be of use. Oh, that doesn't matter. Okay. I want to go back to where Roy is. I think it's this way. Oh, police line. Do not cross. It's not that way. I think it was up through here. See, I went this way, and Roy was down here. We found Roy Soulsby. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Roy's over here. I need a little Dutch courage to walk in this fog. But I'd have to walk through the fog to get to the pub. <sighs> That's just cruel, that is. Moskva. Sounds like this ship was from the east. My Makes sense. On a loose cigarette or a discarded match. One careless throw and. Let's see what we got here. Not enough. Nothing. Oh, this isn't an investigation scene. That's not going to matter. Have I been? I've been pretty good. I am exactly one month away from moving to England. So I'm pretty happy at the moment. I'm just waiting, though. Just waiting. That's all I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do. I can fast travel to places? Yep, one month away. There's the warehouses. That's the shanty town. That's the dock. Pier 3. The Cursed Mermaid. 
Nothing about the disappearances claims. Wait, where's the lady? Daya in the port shanting town, red rag over the entrance. That's the one I want. So let's go to the shanty town. North of England or the south? Closer to the north. You're a southerner? <laughs> yeah, I'll be closer to the north. This is the shanty town? So where did I find that red rag? This is the red rag over the house. Ah, here we go. Let me scan real quick while I'm standing here. You that boy! Is this where I may find Dea? You read the poster? Yes? You know where my brother Girves is? Girves? No. Well, not yet. I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Anna. My mother. She got sick after the hot... The hot... The fire. Big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. And now I am in charge. Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a, um, warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, Boy. gave him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. Oh, I paid him in a necklace. the necklace that Solsby gave to Girves? Girves left it near the, um, shrine. Near the shrine. I tried to sell it to buy Amma um, medicine, but... But no one wanted to buy. Go there, boy. How would you describe this Soulsby? He was. I already found Soulsby. Big and strong. Um, he had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? That was yes, not the Soulsby we found. Like, uh, like it was made of. From the year <laughs> seven, Jabs. <laughs> I've heard a lot, yeah, but I'll be I'll be up in Lincolnshire. Do you think he's okay? Let's see, what else, what else, what else? Where's this necklace? This is the shrine, right? There it is. Yeah. This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. Oh, that sucks. They fucking juked him. So let's see. We have this, and we're going to tell him about it. I should have helped Amma put out the posters. If she hadn't been in the smoke so long, maybe she it's wouldn't. 10 minutes from the Jab Hive Mind. Well, so on the 3rd of February, when I actually get to England. Me and my girlfriend are actually planning on spending the day in London and then driving back uh, the next day on the 4th. So having ourselves a little bit of a weekend, you know, that kind of stuff. It should be a good time. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some... Let's see. Stop. Do you feel like a... Meat pie. If we stay out much longer... You're no help, Watson. Do you feel like a meat pie? But yeah, we do have our own our own people that we got to deal with up there. It's just, dude. Okay, so you know what? So I have a story from when I was back there in March, and it pisses me off. Right? It really, really pisses me off. Stuff saves, but dude, I've already been on the undergrounds and all that stuff. Nobody fucks with me. I look too intimidating. Um, but I have a story about when I was at my girlfriend's house and it really really pissed me off right so my girlfriend has a dog he's a cocker spaniel his name is prince he's very adorable as a matter of fact i have a picture of him right there that's my boy that's my boy prince um and you know we let him out in the front garden from time to time to go to the bathroom and stuff like that and one day he just wouldn't come inside. I was standing there. I was like, Prince, come here. Prince, come here. Prince, come here. 
And he was just really interested in something that was on the gate. So my girlfriend went out there and you know what she found just outside of the gate, just barely out of Prince's reach. If he would have been a bigger dog, he would have gotten it. It was a pizza piece of pizza, right? That had some blue shit on it. It was a piece of pizza covered in fucking rat poison. That would have killed that dog. And I would have found whoever the fuck did it and beat him into submission. I, you do not do that to a fucking dog. So yeah, it kind of irritated the hell out of me that day. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the kind of shit that I got to deal with up there. I, I do have to deal with some kids that do some stupid shit. And uh, I think when they come across Mr. Scary American Man, they'll uh, run and hide. I don't, like, I don't plan to be an asshole. I want to make friends while I'm there. It was definitely a, like a child or a young teen that did that. Because, uh, you know, they're prone to doing stupid shit all the time. But um, I've, I've, just, I've already had to tell a couple off. And they go running when they hear the American accent. And things like that. They, you know, they fuck off. But I don't, I don't want it to be that way. Like, I want them to see me and go, hey, it's, hi, Mr. Gaz. You know, that kind of shit. But it's just, I, I don't trust these new generations, man. They're, they're fucking weird. They're very weird. Yeah, anyway. Back to the game. Uh, let's see. Let's go talk to Soulsby again. You know what? Let's just fast travel there. Uh, we need Pier 3. I would definitely throw hands with that person as well, man. You're not wrong. Mr. Soulsby. What are you golfing at? Shut the fuck up. Can't help you there, mate. I have been told that you hired Dea's son, Gidves. This guy doesn't have a metal eye, though. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that him to stop making things up. The heat box? No. No, I have not. I need a little Dutch courage to walk in this fog. Put it up. Uh, let's go back to the Cursed Mermaid. What is the heat box? Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him even. Dirty Summers is the Dirty one. Summers. A nasty lout with a silver ball in place of a missing eye. I shudder to ask, but where does one find the Dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. Okay, I'm not too worried about that, Truss. Um, I'm from San Diego, California, originally. There's a cat. Where did? Where's the cat? Uh, but yeah, I'm from San Diego, where our summers get over a hundred. I worked outside in 110 heat with cars for, you know, a while there. I've also lived in a place ca uh, called uh, Fairhope, Alabama, and another place called Pensacola, Florida, both of which are hot and humid as fuck. The heat is not gonna bother me and neither is the cold actually because now I currently live in Pennsylvania where we have just about the same uh just about the same type of cold that you guys actually have yours is a little bit more dry but you know I've got I've got the clothing to deal with that according to her Summers is a dangerous man who's best avoided she has no idea where to find him let's find out where to find him Yeah, I'm not too worried about the weather. And I did spend March out there. And it did get down, I think, to negative six one night while me and my girlfriend were out camping. Aha! 30 summers at the abductor. Could be summer's accomplice. Uh, where is Kimihia? I don't think I have the stuff for this. Yeah, no, I don't have the stuff for this yet. 
So we're going to go and talk to Mr. Soulsby again. Sir, I do believe that you have not been truthful. Where's what Dirty Summers? Like Confront. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What, what makes you say that? Who is the criminal? Let's see. A man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. No, it doesn't, but... Boulder Dash. Sorry, you lost me there. Fuck. Mr. S Gotta confront him again. And how do I fit in all... Sorry, you... Fuck. Mr. I don't know if I have everything yet. Okay, I don't think I have everything. And how do I fit? Mr. S Motherfucker. A man named Dirty Summers was in What? Really? Red Dwarf, what's that about? Alright, I don't have everything for him yet. But we know about Dirty Summers. We know about him. Yes, please inform me on what uh, uh, Red Dwarf Excuse is about. Me, just one question. As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. I know nothing. Maybe the police officer is still there? Where are you, Mr. Police Officer? Nope, he's not here. What about the dog? I want to pet the dog. Can't ask this guy anything? Nope. Satisfy my curiosity. No, sir, I've never heard of it. Current printer and able seaman write to Captain A Cab, Leaden Hall, Street Post Office. Strong man needed for honest work. Could you hey. No, sir. I never heard of it. So one and two are there. What is going on with all this stuff? Hold on. Sort it. Where Soulsby could be his accomplice. Mining ship called Red Dwarf that suffered an incident and ended up perishing everyone on the ship apart from Lister, who is one of the main characters, and Cat, who is Lister's cat, who got mutated into a human and a hologram and a robot called Crichton. It appears later on the show as a really funny show. Uh, let me take a look at it real quick. One sec. Oh, it's from 1988? That's actually the year I was born, by the way. Let me see if I can find it on my site. I can. It looks like there's actually a movie. Oh, no, that's a documentary. Oh, yes, I've seen some stuff about this on TikTok, actually. Looks like it's got 13 seasons. That's something I could check out. Um, Not sure who to ask at this point. 
filming lots of series. I've seen some stuff about it before, yes. I probably will end up checking that out. I'm currently stuck on Reacher, which is just a damn good show. So it said, they said he signed on with a ship recently. I mean, Soulsby's. It gives me the option to confront him right now. Mr. Soulsby, we need three pieces of evidence. And, how do I fix? and they need Mr. to Soulsby, tie him in. You know So that one fits. Connection to the crime. He's not a part of that. Okay, yeah, so I don't have everything. Hmm. I don't think this shanty town is going to be any use to me, but I mean, we'll go take a look. Take a look. Can you help? They can't help me. What about the kid? Where's the kid? Uh, it's this way. Let me talk to the kid again. Oh, oh, fuck, that's Watson. Jesus Christ, he gave me a scare. I'm sorry about my English. I try hard. But the rules don't make sense. It's stupid. Agreed, kid. To, I'll work to support my family. Just like my brother. Let's see. Hammer's gone and geared vest too, so I will be staying here. Wait. Hold on a second. That fucking Oh, the medallion's not there anymore. Fuck. I don't think there's anything in here. Doesn't look like it. Son of a bitch, man. I don't know what to do. Can't go through that way. There's like multiple things that it wants me to do here and I'm getting a little flustered having to deal with multiple things. This is the the doctor that got arrested. Uh, let's go to the warehouses. This is a large area for deducing. There's a thing there. This pipe disposes of wastewater from a factory. A possible culprit, but would likely have caused trouble a long time ago. Moving on. So we're looking for something that caused trouble recently for sick mudlark. You there. Can I ask you a question? Excuse me, what? I'm not sure I know. Could you help me? I can't help you with that, sir. Property of spade chemicals. There's just there's multiple things that I have to deal with right now, and I'm not sure I know exactly what to do. May I ask for your assistance? No, sir. I've never heard of it. There's gotta be a sign somewhere that says spade chemicals or something like that. Not that. Oh, that's a big fish. Can I ask you a question? Oh, I can't help you with this. Hmm. Sir, 
This looks like a chemicals building a little bit. Hi, Watson. Okay, you know what? I think I know what's going on here. We need to change our outfit back to this one. We need to look a bit more dapper. Watson, uh, put your hat back on. There we go. Like, a lot of this looks like chemical works, but... Oh, you can you help. I ask you something? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. This is supposed to be, like, truly Lovecraftian, and I haven't seen anything Lovecraftian yet. We went this way. Is this blocked off? No, this is the way through. This is where the cart tipped over into the water. Big chemicals would be nearby, wouldn't it? Let's go down to the waterfront a little. Or no, I haven't got across this way. Down there is where we can't go. What's down here then? It's back over to Roy. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is Roy. I don't know what to do. <sighs> Gotta figure something out. There's gotta be something. Do you know anything about this? I can't help you with this. What about this? Can I ask you a question? I can't help you with this. You can't help me with shit. You're useless. All the people here and nobody can tell me anything about anything. Alright, so... These are a part of one story. These are a part of another thing. These are character things. These are mind palace. Gotta figure something out. Dirty Summers is the abductor. Dangerous man best avoided. She has no idea. Where, nobody has any idea where to find him. So I gotta find him. Hmm. B&M canning. What's the canning? What is this place? I'm not finding anything. What are these? Oh, wait. Can I get into some of these warehouses? There's an onyx I want it. Can I get in there? Can I go through this gate? Fucking nope. Watson, fucking help me out here. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Dirty Summers. It's the main man I want to find. Do you know anything about this? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Yeah, no, you can't. You're all you're all fucking useless here. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do it's over here. Pie? Are you able to help me? I wish I could be Just fucking run into people. Sorry. Where's Spade? That's the canning factory. Is that Spade? No, that can't be Spade. This is back where we were. 
And if I go down that way, it leads to the ship. I don't even know if I'm in the right area. I got like three missions going on at the same time here. This just leads in a circle, I believe. No, this leads to a dead end. Warehouse one. Are you able to help me? No, sir. I never heard of it. I never heard of it. Are you able to help me? Nope. Sorry, I nice head. You there. Familiar to you. Excuse me, what? I'm not sure I know. Of course you don't. Uh The barmaid's gotta be giving us like all the fucking stuff, so. Let's go talk to her again. Hopefully about the spade thing. After the incident the other day, it seems customers are staying at home. The people here are resilient. Tomorrow it'll nope, forgotten. she doesn't want to help. Is it the hat? Am I too dapper now that nobody wants to help me? I already saw those. I'm just searching for everything possible that I can find. What's this place? What are these places? They don't have names. You. May I ask for your assistance? I don't know nothing. Knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Can't ask the man up top. That's where I was. Oh, I don't know what to do. I need to look it up, I think. So there's nothing that I can investigate around here. Hmm. I'm at Pier 3. I was just at the warehouses. Shantytown, maybe? You. Can I not talk to you? Wait, there's people in the water. I can go in the... That's right, Sherlock doesn't like water. So I can't go talk to the person in the water. What about this? Excuse me, just one question. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. God, fucking nobody knows nothing. Excuse me, just one question. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know anything. Nobody knows nothing. Do you know anything about this? Nope. Lark reveals signs of poisoning by hazardous substances contained in the water. Better to look for the source of the contamination upstream. Pile of rotten food dumped in the water is an unlikely source. Dead dog composing in the water has been there for three weeks, uh, for weeks and would have started the disease sooner. It's a pipe that disposes of factories wastewater, much likelier the culprit, but it's an old, but it's old and would have likely caused trouble long ago. Search of the source of the contamination led to a small bridge. There are cart tracks near the barrier. It looks like the cart fallen sideways under the pressure of its weight. I don't have very much on that. Hold on. I need to go find that cart again. 
need to go up the river. This way? No, that doesn't lead me through. Let's go up and around. We'll do this part. Through the gate to the right. Is there nowhere I can go that way? I have to go up this way? I'm going to go investigate that cart a little bit better. Let's take a look on the river while I'm here. What's this? Human waste. Despite looking fairly hazardous, I doubt it could cause such acute poisoning. I don't know, man. If you guys are dealing with the water all the time. A source of contamination in this section of the waterway. Perhaps another place. Excuse me, Watson. That was one step further. Then the water goes this way? Does it go this way? I think it's actually this side. Hmm. Right here's where the cart was. See, there's like how you found that the stuff was there. Oh, here we go. Phenol, a dangerous substance often used as a sanitizer, coming from spayed chemicals. Memo to employee Brian: Never load this trolley with more than half the weight of a Danny of Danny Nutcracker. Or 200 pounds at the same time. She did the Mexican flamingo with Joshua, and the poor thing is not running well since. Trolley that is Joshua broke long ago, and the ship from the Barbados asked for one ton of fennel. Let's hurry up. Ivy Spade Chemicals Inc. Where would the last thing be? Is it the dead fish? The dead fish. The fish's scales have de Alan! What a disaster. What's up, dude? What's going on, man? How you doing? How you been? Okay, so that's that. I'm doing good, man. I am one month away from moving to England. One month. Pin that evidence. Yeah, I am one month away. I am fucking excited, my dude. How have uh, you and your brother been? I am coming to the island, yes. Could you help me? I think I can help you. Spade Chemical Buildings was located at Warehouse 5. This is further than we've been before. Good. I think I've seen Warehouse 5, too. I think it's this way. Yes, I'm, I'm quite fucking excited, man. I get to get out there, get a whole setup, redone, all that kind of stuff, and just live. How are we? How are we? We're good. Lauren currently has guests over. Um, her friends, uh, Charlie and Bulb, who are a couple of our friends on Discord. And she's got somebody else coming in this week as well. Found Warehouse 5. Barrels of phenol from your company ended up in the canal. It has poisoned people. You will need to clean it up properly. Otherwise, we will inform the authorities. What? We will call the cleaning brigade immediately. I hope this can stay between us. I don't know about that, bro. I don't know if that can stay between us, bro. Yeah, uh, me and Lauren actually just passed our two-year anniversary, my dude. I do appreciate you popping in, my guy. You know I miss you guys. I talked to Jordan yesterday. But yeah, we're doing good, man. We're doing really good. Uh, so... Mudlarks are still waiting for instruction. What is this? Oh, yeah. I have no idea what to do with that. 
Yeah, it's been over two years, yeah, since um, since me and Lexi split and me and Lauren got together. It is three years you've known me, yes. I'll be coming up to my third year total of streaming full-time in February. But I won't, of course, be online because I won't have a PC at that point. <laughs> So that's spade chemicals, okay. Are you able to help me? I can't help you with that, sir. Yeah, we've known each other for a very long time, Alan. Why do I have this top hat on? Take off the top hat. There we go, that's better. So that's spade chemicals are gonna clean that up. It feels like yesterday you met us. Yeah, man. Time goes by pretty fucking fast. Not gonna lie. Oh, back this way. Excuse me, Watson. I don't know what exactly I'm doing right now, honestly. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Sure does. <laughs> Not a lie at all. Building 12 is apparently something else I can do eventually. What building is this? I don't know what's there. I uh, can't go that way. I'm just kind of roaming around hoping that something sticks out. <laughs> so they promised to clean that up. Let's go talk to the barmaid again. Wait, what was that? There was a green on the screen. She says she doesn't know Be where to find him. Report, gentlemen. The fog is particularly thick tonight. Be careful on the port, gentlemen. She the does not tell me shit, dude. Tonight. What about Daya? You don't know shit about Daya either. I needed to go talk to Daya, but she's in the hospital. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? You, sir, tell me something, please. May I ask for your assistance? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Could you what about this? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. No. Is this familiar to you? Pin this. That's all done. Okay, so I have no idea what to do about the mudlark situation. I don't know who to talk to. I started like five different fucking things. There's a couple of people there. You guys. Gentlemen, the doctor here and I have found the source of the contamination. Spade chemicals will take care of it. That's that's pretty good news. But how long will it take? And what about our friends? Will someone pay for his treatment? Pressurize the company. But for now, get rid of the stained clothes and rinse any phenol affected skin. No one else should touch the canal today. Thank you. We'll do that. Huh. Let's go to the chief doctor for help. Nice. Two wardrobe items acquired. Let's take a look and see what we got. That kind of looks a little snazzy. A plague doctor? Wait. <laughs> yes. Uh, we're going to stick with that for now. Watson, you look fine. <laughs> That's fantastic. So next up. What's going on in the mine palace? None of these matter. It's green and tan. But I don't have anything under documents and testimonies. I mean, this looks great and all, but I really like this look. Uh, 
I like this look just because of the uh, like the pistol and the bags and stuff. The Cordona suit. Hey, it looks good. Uh, so I'm still on the track for Kamiya, Kamiya. Maybe Summers is Kamiya's kidnapper. It seems that Roy Soulsby could be Summers' accomplice. What is above the head? That means something's there, right? Like this pin. And then if I talk to somebody, not that guy. You. Do you know anything about this? Ugh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know anything. Like, I can confront the guy, I just don't have enough evidence on him yet. So he's not gonna help me. What about down here? Is there anything? Why would they put this here? Nothing. I might have to look up a guide on this. I have no idea what to do. Let's look around for a second. Like, if I talk to him, I can confront him, but I only have one piece of evidence that works with him. What makes you say that? fit in all this sorry you that's a bad one Mr. okay so that's the mudlarks thing and how do I that's not it Mr. a man named dirty summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London he used your name as a cover for his deeds what? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. Okay. If I do that, he says he's lost. We know that one. Your calling card was found ah. at the crime scene. That's enough to make you a suspect. You, you cannot be serious. Okay. Now we got one more. Um, it's true. Oh, and that's before mentioning your gold watch. It's brand new and awfully expensive for a customs officer. Clearly, you have found yourself another source of income. I'm sure Scotland Yard will be delighted to investigate further. All right, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. I did not partake in the kidnappings. I'm okay. all ears, Mr. Soulsby. Yes, I know Summers. He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that. Okay. On my word, you did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall, but I used red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. It's gotta be 12. Say of Summers. He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. All right. So we're going to go to the barmaid first, but I think I know which warehouse I'm going to. Help me, please. No, I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to go in the door. You should ask someone else. Confront her. Why do I have the feeling that you know more about dirty summers than you're letting on? I have nothing more to add, sir. Oh man, we gotta confront everyone. I've 
Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Enough. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? Hmm. Customs officer Roy Soulsby testified that Summers was a regular here. You must know something about his business. All I know this game's is so cool. Disorder. Really? Are you sure about that? Oh. If the lives of the missing do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn child. Are you threatening me? Sure. Nothing of the sort, but that doesn't mean that there won't be consequences for your silence. Everyone knows you happily served Summers and his crew. Should the police come knocking, you'll be the one going away. And none of us wish yeah. to see you raise a child behind bars. Now, spare yourself the trouble and tell me all you know. Okay, okay. Summers hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people, but I haven't seen him in a few days. He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. Here's the key. Go and do what you will. Oh, Just shit. Leave me out of it. Hell yeah. Rusty key. Let's go investigate, folks. Uh, that's outside. Outside's not where we need to be. Uh, are you okay? You just stopped crying for a second for no reason? Oh, new stuff. Okay, what do we have here? Fresh scratches of symbols. I don't recognize them. Five shillings. That won't go far. That looks like three, sir. <laughs> Job is to move crates in the warehouse area. Dirty summer tiresmen in the pub's private room. What's this? Parker and Williams Company, Manchester. Invoice number 12, 012B, date 20th of September 1882. Sold to Oscar Summers. Oscar is his real name. Cargo, high quality sailcloth packed in wooden crates. Quantity 50 crates, total 50 pounds. Interesting. Investigation scene is complete, it says. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up. That's a crashed ship, it looks like. Is there nothing else in here? Provide evidence. Doesn't look like anything to me. It was like the whole world Fuck. came through my door. People of all creeds and colors, but always strong. Always tall. They seem like workers or journeymen. Beyond that, there's not much more to tell. I took his money and let him be. And this lasted sure. how long? Several weeks, I wager. Be careful on the port, gentlemen. The fog is particularly thick tonight. Uh, out the back I go. So there's a warehouse that they go to. And I think I know which one it is because it was locked and it had a, it had an interact on it. Warehouse 12. What is this? Three, six. I think that's the right direction. This was the one right here. Warehouse 12. But it's locked. 
Uh, let me take a look at my case real quick. Scratches can be seen atop the table in the puzzle. Right? The new ones look like unfamiliar silver card with a knife. Mitzi had met Dirty Summers, who is business in one of the warehouses. Souls, we cannot recall which one, but it is marked with red paint. He uses unsupervised warehouse, according to him. Summers free. Okay. So we're looking. It's like this one's marked with red paint, right? I just can't go in it. So we got to look for another warehouse that has red paint across the door. We've seen a couple of them, like Warehouse 2. Looks like Warehouse 11's fine. The Red Cross is what we're looking for. Warehouse 10's fine. Warehouse 9, 8. Uh, let me go back to Warehouse 12 real quick. I've seen quite a few warehouses that have the marking on it. Three is fine. Wait, there's two here. Twelve is the only one that has any sort of interact on it. It's around the corner from four, I believe. Yeah, it's over here. See, this is the only one that has an interact, and I'm not sure how to interact with it. Let me ask this guy. Sir. Are you able to help me? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Of course you can't. Oh, here we go. The planks were broken with force. I found something new. What about this guy? Excuse me, just one question. Sorry, sir. I got you no son problem. of a bitch. You're hanging out next to this warehouse like you know something. Uh, there's got to be another. Hold up. Thought I saw something here. So those planks were broken. Is there anything? Watson. Stay out much longer, I'm going to need some ah, you and your you meat pies. Know. You're always thinking about food. Let's just go look for another warehouse. Warehouse 4 is fine. Warehouse 2 we couldn't do anything with. Is there anything on the side of Warehouse 2? Doesn't look like it. Warehouse 5 is spade. Warehouse 1 is fine. There's no red paint. Uh. What do I need to do? Oh. This. Oh. A warehouse holding sales ah specifically to carry crates of sail cloth the abductees could still be inside the warehouse which would be marked with paint so that is number 12. holding sales and marked with red paint yes that's that's warehouse 12. fuck yeah let's go to warehouse 12. Hey, you? I mean, yeah, yeah, you, to you too sir I think it's this way? Yeah, it's this way. There we go. Oh, it's a lock picking thing. Uh outside lock, enter open.
What? Adjust? Inside lock. Oh, what is this? This is weird. Oh, uh, go inside the lock. I see how it's done. I see how it's done. Okay, so... Low, high, super high. So close. Okay, so down one on the first two. Perfect. Got it. That's kind of cool. That lock picking is actually kind of cool. Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath me. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. Ah, uh, yes, Mycroft. The layers of rust will prevent any movement. This crank saw some use. That's a crank, okay. Upstairs. Nope, right here. Dried mud portion, part of London soil. There are a couple of marks on this end. Let's go up. The break on that right there. Oh, here we go. The scratches are fresh, left by something metallic. So an intruder got in here. What am I looking for here? Mold. That's why you don't leave cell cloth lying out. Mm-hmm. You gotta clean it up. Tears. Good quality, but torn in many spots. I'm a good investigator. Do I? I don't have another thing right now, so I just need to look around. It's stuck. No one's used it in a very long time. Okay, there's a crank on that one. There's no crank on this one. Which I know where the crank is. Well oiled and well maintained. Somebody's used this one recently. <coughs> Where's that crank at? It was over here, I think. I'll be on my way down there soon, Watson. A hidden passage, just as I expected. Oh, let's go. Cannot return after leaving. Be sure to finish everything. Yeah, that's Wait fine. Here, I did. Watson, and keep an eye on the doors. I'll scout the premises. We'll do. Be careful. Be careful down there. We'll do, Watson. All right, nothing to, nothing to scan there. This is kind of creepy. I gotta look around at everything. Wait, what's happening? I was poisoned. The red green shift. Oh, red, green, blue shift. Goddamn. Oh, what is this? I like this. God, what is this place? Where am I? Echo and everything. Hello, what are you? That it is. This cannot have been under 
the port of London all along, is it... The only way forward is the abyss? Only way forward is the abyss. Hmm. Was I supposed to bring something down here with me? This is a very small area. How am I missing something here? Is there something up here? Well, it doesn't look like it. So it's not an investigation necessarily. Dude, this place. Whoa! Hold on. Look at that. That looks so cool off in the distance. Yes, yeah, something's missing. I get it. Something is missing. What is missing though? Where is it? Giant fucking chains. What is this? Can I walk off the edge? I can. <laughs> Had to test it for some. Phew. I didn't die. Interesting. It is icy cold and This awesome. is the thing I needed. So that's how you get around in here is you just jump off? Oh, that's cool. Agents! Agent, how are you, buddy? How was your stream? Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming in with Agent. Agent, I hope your stream went well. Let me give you a shout out real quick. For those coming in from the raid, my name is that dude Gaz, and I'm here to entertain your eye holes and your ear holes, and I hope I do just that. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a snack and a drink, and enjoy. Currently, today we are playing a Sherlock Holmes game, attempting to navigate our way through a Lovecraftian horror in Sherlock Holmes investigative manner. And it's actually kind of fun, and it's really cool. We just got to a really cool point in the game. So, uh, I mean, if you look around in this. Like, it's very Lovecraftian horror here. And this is our boy Sherlock. Got killed twice by artillery in a row. That would uh, piss me off as well. I hope at least the stream went well, Agent. Uh, so what happened is we ended up getting down here from a shipyard. For your first stream, you think it was okay? Oh, that's good, man. At least you're getting into it. I mean, you have to move into it slowly and surely. Like, there's a lot to learn about streaming and stuff like that. But uh, the story about how we got here is we went down into a, an underground passageway underneath a warehouse on ship docks. And I think we we're having a hallucination. Those things keep falling off every time we push this. I'm just going to keep pressing it. It doesn't stay along. Oh, the only way forward is through the abyss. So if I do this, it closes. Short stride boot prints. Kiarnak Kadishtu? What? Why do I... I hear someone crying. The only way forward is into the abyss. So like if I do this. Nope, that wasn't it. I have to walk there, I think. I can't just... 
I can't just run there. Yeah, you have to walk. You can't run. Now I am somewhere else. What wow. the f- Dude, this looks so sick. It's harder to breathe here. What? Exactly my thoughts. What the fuck is that? This is so cool. Do I have to feed it? I hear something up there. What if I jump in? What's up, dude? Oh, the visceral sound. That was actually kind of cool. It put me in a different area. <laughs> Look at the fucking lighthouse and everything. This is supposed to be like Cthulhu and all that kind of stuff. There's noises coming from back here. There's a thing over there. Oh, I didn't even see that. Hold on. I gotta go back for that. It's like it stares right through me. This is so cool. Alright, I gotta jump back into this thing. The noises, man. The noises. All right, let's continue along. See, the bridge is coming down now. So I have to go up. And now the bridge is solid. That was a Cthulhu sign. That's an Elder God sign. Look at that. That's actually sick. I've been waiting for this game to get spooky like this. And now we're figuring it out. I think we're going to go after some cultists. Wait, do I now have to go to the eye? It stares right through me. How do I get through the door? What if we jump off here? Puts us back by this thing. What if we feed it real quick? I'm so invested in this game right now. Looks like there's also something this way. We fed the beast. And the door is not open. Let's go back up here real quick. This has got to be a hallucination. It's like it sees right through me. Oh! We have to walk. Oh. Spinning. When will this end? This is what's with the doors. This one's missing two of them. Two recesses. Okay. And I don't really have anywhere I can go. Can I go through these doors? 
Oh, fuck. I can go through the doors. They all look about the same. Looking for any differences in the doors. This one's got lights all the way. What about the doors themselves? Close? Doors are the same. Let's try this one. That one put us off into darkness. So that's one. What about two? Oh, that's how you tell. Okay. And the door is slightly ajar? That's where somebody else went. What about three? This is going to put us into darkness. So door two was fine. Size nine boot print. Fnguli. Mg what the fuck? Let's just do this real quick. Okay. This is one of the things we need, though. The strange stone. It almost feels alive. Oh, this game is so fucking cool. So door two, I think, was the other one. Is either door two or door three? Size nine, clear edges. Bugna faf e. I don't know what that actually says. This is definitely... Oh. It's rather frustrating. So did I had to go through this one already, right? Is this the one that had the eye? Yeah. I've got one stone. I need the other one. There's no eye in this one. This is a hell of a puzzle game, dude. Uh, let's go. Wait, let's just one place down, this one to go and go through door two again. Clear edges. No. God, where do I go? doesn't make sense until it does. This is a bad hallway. So one and two. Two's the one that has the footprints. I think three's the one that told me to turn around. No. Either way, this is a bad hallway. What about four. This is the one that told me to turn around. This had size 9 boot prints. Which it's all size 9s. And led me into here. Hmm. About this door. I don't see any boot prints here. I only saw boot prints in that second one. And I'm wondering if it's about walking instead of running. Because there's boot prints right there, right? With clear edges. There's a missing torch here. No, they alternate. Okay. If you walk, it opens up. Okay, cool. This is uh, disturbing. 
Oh, wait, there it is. Frozen and pulsing, almost like it has a heart. All right, we got our second one. Now we got to figure out how to get through the door. This is creepy, and I like it. Okay, so the door moved away and opened up. We've only been able to walk through every door so far. So leave of faith. Well. Uh oh, I have to fall off. I see where I have to stand. It's right here. And then you always have to walk to the door. This is fucking cool. Am I? Did I get out? Sure doesn't look like it. That looks like a sacrificial platform, dude. Is that Kimahia? John? That's Mr. Steinwick. Now I'm... Now I'm Watson? Wait, he had the eye. Let me read this real quick. Let's just see. None of those were right. Okay, um... Barmaid's testimony, invoice for sale cloth. Strange symbols? None. Oh, geez. I don't think I have all the stuff for that. Let's go in. To illuminate something with your lantern, use right. Holmes, where are you? Holmes, Holmes, are you all right? Uh, fine, Watson. Um, I, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Fine. By Jove, you should have heard the way you called out my name. It was just a game of shadows. Sure it was. I'm glad. This place gives me the chills. What are we dealing with? A cult. Something that's finally interesting. Why do I all of a sudden have facial hair? My Sherlock shouldn't have facial hair. Wait, hold the fuck up. How long was he down there? Like, why does he... He looks disturbed. He was down there for a while. Because he didn't have this facial hair before. And look at his eyes. See a needle prick. Tried mud crumbs, broken nails. Cyanosis of the lips, marks on the neck. This man was strangled. Strangled. His abdomen is severely bloated. Okay. Oh, this is an investigation. Fuck me. 
United States of America to all... Wait, what is this? Symbols again. Got their hands dirty painting this with blood. Interesting. An American passport. Amos Colby. Amos Colby. Hair color red, eye color brown. Date and place of birth April 20th, 1852 in Boston. Date of entry into the country September 22nd, 1882. The back of the passport features a bloody drawing as vaguely depicts a sea creature, perhaps an octopus. Cthulhu? Any manner of discreet investigations. For you, we shall search the world. 154 Pennsylvania Lane in Boston, Massachusetts. Why is there a Pennsylvania Lane in Boston? Does that make sense? That's a ritualistic I've dagger. Seen a pattern like this before. That's a Cthulhu dagger. Old blood stains. At least two dozen pendants, all identical and made of tin. That's what the boy got paid. Oh, that's interesting. It seems made for simple experiments. I wager they could not afford a better set. This box contained a narcotic substance, much like the one in Kimihia's brazier. Interesting. There's more to find on this box. Black Edelweiss Institute established 17 something. Interesting. There's a new reward that just got unlocked. The dagger. That thing does look pretty sick, doesn't it? Let's take more of a look around. Whoa. Like the scribbling of madmen. This is definitely Cthulhu style. Prayers and worshippers. Watson, get the fuck out the way. No, it's definitely the second one. There's worshippers. It's gotta be. I'm apparently saying this stuff. Okay. Guy with a knife, guy worshipping. What's the next one? He was strangled. Yeah, he was strangled. What is all this? Mud drawing. Used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle. Why? Blood and human hair. These clothes were crudely cut off someone. An American, judging by the style. Fine rope work, cut by a finer blade. Interesting. Just tied up, head bashed on the wall. No, it's definitely the American in the clothing. That seems pretty, pretty good. Let's see what else we can find. There's a whole other section. The fuck? Oh, what the fuck is this? Who are these people? Who are these people? Some fine looking pictures. So 
So there's nothing down here. It's all upstairs. Yeah, Holmes already looks like he's giving into madness. Oh, potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. Oh, potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. That they do, that they do, Mr. Holmes. Let's see. Passport. Advertisement flyer. There we go. Amos Colby from Northwood Agency in Boston. Interesting. Holmes, are you sure you've left no stone unturned? No, I'm not. Torn fingernails. That's the man on the thing. Left in a frenzy. This crate, let alone break it. There's still a piece of evidence here that I'm missing. Here we are. A small blood stain, but not serious. Oh, this is creepy. I love it. Hi, babe. Babe, this is the newest uh, Sherlock Holmes game. I don't know if that looks right. That uh, definitely doesn't look right. It's definitely the other one. This one is all Lovecraftian. Miserable food, mass produced. Oh, this is so cool. These clothes are missing buttons. You actually just it missed it to where we were off in a mystical realm type shit. It, it was so cool. Dumper, a staple of Lecturemen's attire in Nepal. Gathered so there was a Nepalese person here. At the very least. This painting, that that's what it looked like inside that area. Must have seen this one before. That explains my hallucinations. Let's see what's going on here. Clothing ripped off, but I don't know. Let's see the other explanation. Let's validate it. So it's this one that's wrong. That's fine. stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. The prisoners were kept in a soporific trance by the use of narcotics. A few tried to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. Only one captive was left behind. He was strangled. To it was an American. How has your day been, babe? What's going on today? Uh, what, what the hell is happening, Holmes? Calm yourself. This has got to be a hallucination, right? Also, babe, there's a Plague Doctor outfit in this game. Cannot be. What is it? Oh my those, are, those look like eels or leeches. Tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. I think we found a bit more than that. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken. And that's where you're wrong, Watson. We have more than enough. I just, I just need, to need to connect the dots. the dots. How about you pack your suitcase in the meantime, my dear fellow? Stop changing your clothes without my permission. Keeps changing his own clothes. 
So, babe. Plague Dr. Holmes. It is Plague Dr. Holmes. <laughs> I prefer this outfit, though, over anything. Like, this outfit is dapper right here. All right, so where have the abducted been sent to? Try that, I guess. Unknown man on the altar, cross inside the rectangle. Two of those were right, so... That's not it. It's not the bar. Warehouse 12 happenings. Black Edelweiss Institute in Switzerland. Deputies are headed for the Black Edelweiss Institute established in the 1700s. It lies somewhere in Switzerland. So I'm going to have to go to Switzerland. Some key information for your case can be found in the archives. Open your case book. Highlight and highlight evidence marked with an open book. Press space to start your research in the archives. So like this one. Oh shit. Uh, okay, date of establishment, 1700s. It's in Europe. I don't know what it is though. Search? No information. Is in Interlake in Switzerland, established in 1789 by Professor Keller. The institute specializes in mental illnesses and addictions. It is currently headed by Prof Professor Gygax. Come on. Dr. Watson, how does a trip to Switzerland sound to you? It sounds unexpected. <laughs> what makes you think we should head there? It's all about the box. Holmes is looking like he's getting the madness. The clue, the cross inside a rectangle. Put two and two together, add a dash of research, and what do you get? The Black Edelweiss Institute in Interlaken, Switzerland. If we hurry, we can still catch tonight's train. Holmes is getting the madness. That's bad. Muffled sounds. As grateful as I have been for your company, Dr. Watson, I'm afraid you shall have to investigate Edelweiss alone. Hello? Mr. I fear you overestimate my abilities. Nonsense. You are a military man, a bastion of British courage. I'm no such thing. As a doctor, mm. I avoided most combat, save for one dreadful day. My troop was ambushed in a village with innocents caught in the crossfire. Too many to help. The man with the rosary. He was one of them. A translator, yes. We were trapped. Six soldiers and myself. This game is so fucking cool. I thought it was the end. But Lieutenant Paget refused to go quietly. The men prepared for a final stand. I rose to follow, but Paget shook his head. He told me to run. That I had other men to save. They charged. And I fled through the rear. So you see, Mr. Holmes. Oh, he's crying. I'm a coward. The logic seems inescapable. Yes. You, a surgeon by trade, would have been perfectly useless in that conflict. What? No. <laughs> How many men have you helped since? Ailments eased, troubles tended? No more than a handful. Truth be told, I have become somewhat of a recluse. How many people could you help with 30 years ahead of you? Dozens? Hundreds? Patrick was correct. You can cease your self-recrimination. Holmes, I... I don't know what to say. I would start with... I am Dr. John Watson. May I look around? Oop. So now I have to be John Watson in Chapter 3. Where's Holmes going to go? Oh, I ain't skipping this. You can go away. I'm invested in this the game. The Edelweiss staff will doubtless be eager to show off their facilities to a fellow physician. I have already taken the liberty of sending a letter on your behalf to request a visit. And what of you? 
I shall be pursuing other avenues. Should you see anything troublesome or improper, simply notify the local authorities. Otherwise, try a little analysis yourself. You know my methods. Apply them. These are some cool visuals. I'm also glad that we can play this game on higher definition so that it looks better. The Edelweiss Institute. Oof, this is cool. Alright, one second. Give me one sec. I need to make another water bottle. I'm glad I found this artist. All right, back to the game. There's other things that we can see before we talk to the lady at the counter. I cannot wait to see her. My daughter receives the finest treatment money can buy. Examination room, okay. No visitors are allowed through here. Professor's orders. Okay. That's fine. We don't have the investigation thing right now. Visitor from space glowing meteor lands in Arkham? Batman's here? Whoa, hold on. That just showed me somebody through the wall. Let me scan again. Come on. Yeah, there's somebody on the other side of this wall. I can't go through the door, though. All right. Salutations, madam. I am Dr. John Watson. I was wondering if you've got word of my visit. Yeah, Dr. Watson. We received your letter on the matter. Would it be to see Professor Gygax? Uh, da, 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 that is correct. At their okay. earliest convenience, yes. I shall try not to take up too much of their valuable time. Wait here, bitte. Mr. Please. and Mrs. Watson. Your girl has made remarkable progress. See? Take a look for yourself. My apologies for keeping you waiting, Dr. Watson. Surely you understand how medical work can make one lose track of time. Do not be sorry, Professor. I too know the importance of closely attending to patients. The work hardly stops here. Yet the satisfaction of perfecting the mind compels us to persevere. I take it you welcome many a soul into your establishment? Admissions, yes. Visitors, though? I am curious as to what brought you to the Schwarzes Edelweiss. Word of mouth. An article I read back in London spoke highly of your institution. But rather than taking its word for it, I thought I would see things for myself. My asylum's reputation precedes it, then. Everyone, your attention, please. Susan Day. Yes, hi. Hello. The name's Amos Colby, Northwood Detective Agency, Boston. I got questions that need answers. You're charge here. dead. What seems to be the matter, Dr. Watson? Good evening, Mr. Holmes. How you doing, Lotera? It, it cannot be him. This man here is a celebrity lie. Oh, God. Um... I'm gonna lie. Right. Yes. I was surprised because that man is a, a, a celebrity. Yes, that's it. Very famous, Mr. Colby. I couldn't believe my eyes. No, 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 no. In my line of work, it can't wait. The longer it takes if you, you to 
wish to recuperate, Dr. Watson, you may avail yourself of the guest room. But I have so much more I to am discuss. So yes. interested. If you'd be so kind as to escort Dr. Watson to the guest room. Herr Colby, from Northwood Agency. How unexpected. I am Professor Geiger. We found that man dead lying on a slab. Answer your questions in the examination room. Look, Professor. Unless you got professor? any to the whereabouts of the This Lovecraftian stuff is so fucking cool. I love this. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Colby. If that is your real name. Let's not resort to brute force. Do not worry, Herr Colby. My methods are rather more delicate. He is a frog. Sherlock the Devil's Daughter? I This is the first Sherlock Holmes game I've ever played. And it is so interesting. <laughs> we just got done with a very Lovecraftian, Cthulhu-inspired section not too long ago. And now we are at a mental institution in Switzerland. Ah, the unmistakable scent of alcoholism. Did Why are we this guy? Through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the streets? Oh, I love the lock picking in this game. Okay, so short. Let's go about there. Nope, that's too high. So one down and then high on the next one. That's two. A little bit under for the next one and then a one at the end. Let's try that. Perfect. Oh, you can skip these. Yes, this game is awesome. I've been having actually a lot of fun. And I don't usually play a lot of like story-based games. Holding chamber. I've I've been having a lot of fun with this. I did get lost in one area so far. Oh wait, am I Mr. Holmes right now? I am. I'm Sherlock Holmes. Okay, cool. I didn't recognize myself. Hold on, does that mean I can... You can't change clothes here, okay. But clearly performance is not a strong suit. Apothecary, ooh. Thomas Winkler. Lionel Reichert. Lionel Richie. I command you to free me at once. You there. I'm not sure that's a great idea at the moment. How dare you deny me? I must have my revenge against the Lickspittles upstairs. Well, fortunately for you, He's I'm definitely here to German. the very same people. You are, indeed. But first, I must discover all I can about this institution. Tell me, have you witnessed the arrival of any foreign patients? Tell me. The goal. The impertinence to bark such orders. Please, we don't have time for this. Do you know with whom you speak? No. I am the great Napoleon. Uh, okay. Maurizio. And he thinks he's Napoleon. Napoleon Bonaparte? The one and only. Emperor of the French, first consul of the Republic. So he's French. Once I am free and have exacted my revenge against the guards who ridicule me, I shall rest happy in the arms of my beloved Josephine. Right. <laughs> well, I will leave you to your scheming, Emperor. All right. Patient hates the guards. That's good to know. Let's take a look around. Raw materials used to formulate medicine. True. Any chemist would envy the quality of this equipment. 
The final product, ready to cure madness, or to push one deeper into its grasp. Push one deeper in. They can create any type of medication. They're definitely pushing people to madness. Very sturdy. I might borrow it. I think I will. Frogs can't wash up, and I surely can. That is the difference between a frog and man. Fourth little frog was dirty and rotten. What if I put the frog in the water? Lucy, Dun Lucy Dondrup swims in a bath. Laundry becomes the end of her path. Fourth little frog dies in the walls of Black Edelweiss. It sounds sinister, even for a place like this. I wonder if there so are a fourth frog? In the pond. Oh, shit. There? I'm sure I heard something. So I can't go in there. Maybe if I... Can I make a medicine? No, I can't. I need to get in that room. Hello, Hans. Lionel Richie. Maurizio. I command you to let me out. Sorry, can't do that. Aurelian Collegium. My heart is pierced by Cupid. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me but my jolly sailor bold. Huh. Felicia Hung. The storage room. Let's just see what's out here real quick. Uh, okay, so it's one on the first. Maybe a couple bumps on the second. See what that does. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna say you two, two, three, four. Perfect. I still want to go into this other room though. Let's see. This was my cell, right? Yeah. Wait, I can just go upstairs here? Is there anybody up here? I don't think so. Oh. I'd rather not sit in this chair ever again. This sedative worked faster than I expected. Perhaps I ought to train myself. Build up a tolerance. Probably a really good idea. Does that mean I sit in the chair now? No. Okay. Oh. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. I kind of want that map. All right, let's go here real quick. Oof. We'll just do all three of these. A bottle of sedative. I don't know what the last one is. Uh, reception's probably not the best place to go. Darn. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Very true. But oh. reception. I okay. The reception will be guarded anyway. Blocked paths upstairs. So we have to go through the other way. Ooh, so much stuff. A certificate of appreciation from I say the municipal Becker. counselor to Professor Becker for contributions to the development of medicine in Interlaken. Hmm. Tools. A simple toolbox yet capable of repairing anything. And there's also blood there, though. Why is there blood there? There's so much stuff in this room. Professor Gygax, I have suffered serious chemical burns upon my hand, the consequences of your inexcusable actions. My session with Gerda ended up before it even began. Poor thing was so terrified, she refused to talk and started to destroy everything in the room rather than let me approach her. What you did to Gerda will not be 
likely will not and cannot happen again. Let it be known that I consider your methods a barbaric malpractice if you so as so if as you so boldly claim you wish to be the future of my facility, you must embody my high standards. Do not disappoint me again, Professor Becker, director of Black Edelweiss. Interesting. of varying diameters interesting is that interesting though metal tubes let's just keep searching real quick rg hill dr Connolly. it appears that all the psychiatric classics <clears throat> were banished here speech and the cerebellum by s.a becker a book by the professor frogs cannot kill but a fifth little frog is there like three more little frog poems i can need to find Frogs can I kill, but I surely can. That's the difference between a frog and a man. The fifth little frog was foolish at large. Forgot about the rules and who was in charge. Timothy Camel Larry. Lies dead in block B. Oh, I swapped out his pills for something nasty. Fifth little frog dies in the walls of Black Edelweiss. John Sallow, the Tulpa phenomenon. I'm somewhat of an expert already. Find the book about Tulpas? That's a that's an achievement? Are you serious? Um Use a handmade blowpipe as with a sedative. It could be possible to sneak a guard from a distance using a handmade blowpipe. Perhaps one of the tubes in the storage room could suit. That is very true. So I've got this one. Where's the fourth little frog? Frogs can't wash up. I surely can. There's a difference between a frog and a man. Fourth little frog was dirty and rotten. What if I put that frog in the water? Lucy Dundrop swims in a bath. Laundry becomes the end of her path. She's in a, a bath in the laundry room? What's all from? Oh. Alright. Who's there? Show yourself. Do I have the stuff? Oh shit. Okay. Can I not? Hey, what are you doing? Okay, so he just finds you. That was worth a shot. That was worth a shot. So I need the metal tubes in the storage room. This is what I need. This should suffice. 269 of 290. So, I can do a blow dart gun now with the sedative. Blowpipe is now ready to use. Sick. How do I use it? Oh. Yeah, hey, give it to me. Got him. Oh, this game is so cool. I kind of want that syringe back. First little frog. Frogs cannot think, and I surely can. That's the difference between a frog and a man. First little frog was my very first try. Her thumb little, her dumb little head is needed to pry. Hannah Pollard near. The hole in the wall wanders. There, her head with a brick encounters. Her first frog dies in the black walls of Black Needle House. Interesting. This should be enough to avoid unwanted attention, at least from a distance. More sedative. Manufactured and packaged here. This is the same narcotic substance that we found in London. 
Interesting. Hey, Schnitzer. I hasten to assure you that your son is in good hands and that his unexpected development of a psychological disorder can be remedied at our facility. I'm sure you are concerned about your son's well-being as I am. Oh, as concerned as I am. And I am confident that our combined efforts will lead to a speedy recovery. The housing of our pharmaceuticals in your warehouse is an important part of this process. If you succeed at drawing officials attention away from this precious cargo there will be nothing to stop me from returning your son to you safe sound and free of unfortunate illnesses yours professor guy guy guys all right on to block b but i wanted i think it was fifth frog timothy camillary lied dead in block b i swapped out his pills for something nasty Okay, on to block B. Oh, you don't look creepy at all. Is there anyone in this one? There's whispering. Go away, or I will tear your lips from your skull with my fingernails. Miss, I I'll gouge your eyes out and cut off your hands, just like you did to Heidi. I am quite certain you would, but I'm afraid you have me mistaken for someone else. So, I take it your name is Gerda? Who is Heidi? You talk strange. You're going to Hell's Door, aren't you? To where those other funny talkers finally shut up? Hell's Door? She's American. Who do you refer? Only Heidi had answers. Go away, pig! I merely... I said go! Or you will spend your last moments on Earth screaming. This door won't stop me. Creepy. They took you away and I'll never forgive them. That's Gerda. Restricted area. Well, I gotta get in there, don't I? Hold on a second. I want to see some stuff. Imagine what her eyes and arms were torn off. Jesus. Fifth little frog. Let's go back because I'm sure I missed something. This is where we came in. Is there something here? Okay, so I didn't go this way. That's Gerda. Where's fifth little frog? That our almond smell and empty. Timothy's pills for cyanide. The faint almond scent is unmistakable. That it is. So if we find all the murders too, that's even better, right? So wait, how do we continue? Let's find out. Cracking the walls here. The restricted area. This is where we were going. The laundry. There's another one in there. Third little frog. Frogs cannot dream. I surely can. That's the difference between a frog and a man. Frogs dreaming is seedless. There is nothing to reap. So I woke the third frog from his meaningless sleep. A man counts sheep and Peter Tichikik. Tichichek has seen zero. In holding chamber lies smothered by a pillow. Third little frog. He's the one that was all the way back in the holding chamber with me. Oh no. Near the hole in the wall wanders. Oh, that's the other one. A 
hot water about three feet deep. The killer was strong enough and the bathtub deep enough to drown poor Lucy. Well, that sucks. Fabric burnt in the furnace. A jalabir. A traditional garment from Northern Africa. Hmm. I saw the hole in the wall. I'm definitely going there. Of several dozen people at least. That's not creepy. So you're Heidi. I didn't realize I was on haunted doll watch. Good lord, how unsettling. The damage seems intentional. Let's go give Heidi back to Gerda. More restricted area. We're going back to Heidi real quick because there's a different thing. Hole in the wall. There was a hole in the wall at one of these areas. Right over here. The murderer used his left hand to kill Hannah with a brick. A left handed murderer. Left handed, physically strong, and knowledge of medicines. Interesting. And where's Heidi? Or Gerda. Gerda is on the other side. We'll come back to the restricted section. Was it, wasn't she on this side? No, she was on the other side. She's right here, right? I will make you pay for there she is. To Heidi. I believe I have found your friend. Heidi! Oh... Poor girl, what did they do to you? Shh, it's all right now. Everything will be all right. Creepy. Gerda, now I have found Heidi, I need some help from you in return. Shh, Heidi. You should thank the man, don't you think? How did you end up in Block B? The nurses say I'm prone to violent outbursts, but they're wrong. I just do what Heidi does. <gasps> okay. Have you ever met Professor Becker? I remember him. He was in charge here before that witch Gygax. But I haven't heard his voice for a long time. Too bad. He was nice. He was nice. Tell me all you know about those funny talking people. We'd hear their screams. The guards would take them down the corridor behind you and they'd disappear. And the screams would stop. Okay. Professor Gygax seems to rule this facility with an iron fist. Do you know anything about her? She's sick. She did nasty things to us. Separated me and Heidi just for fun. Before she got here, this place was all right. I want to do the frog stuff. I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. Dumb little head is needed to pry. I fall into the hole in the wall. So let's see. I've done... This one. This is the one I need. This one's all the way back where I was. He's all the way back here. Oh, that's not the right way, is it? No, this is the right way. Holding chamber. In holding chamber lies smothered by a pillow. Yeah, right here. Fetter gouged at the wall, fighting for his life. Odds are he left scars on the killer too. Killer's got scars. Scar on the face or neck. Cool. All right, so there's one frog. We're missing the second frog. Let me go up here real quick. I can't go through there still. No way I can get past him without being noticed. So I need to go back down to the restricted section. Unless there's maybe something up here? No. Back through here. Wait. 
No, that's the storage room at the end of the hall. That's right. What are these? Investigation areas? I need to go back to the restricted section. So that's the laundry. This is more restricted. What is that? In Georgian. What is this? N4, young adult male Dutch, diagnosis weak minded subject, eager to follow orders for perceived rewards. Strong build, dose with. Oh, he's Dutch. Okay. N5 is Romanian. Subject remain violent, requiring need for traditional sedatives. Want to call him the doses for the subject. Point 0.4, point 0.2. N6, nationality Anu. Language incomprehensible. Subject is thus assumed mad. <laughs> Subject possesses a lighter, more agile frame and is much smaller doses required. Point two. Maori. N7. This has got to be our uh, Kimihiri. Kimihia. Thus mad. Point eight. Summary. All subjects in good condition. So signs of obedience regardless of face or movement. So we need N7. Some more of the sedative. So this is how they kept the prisoners docile and harmless. That is. All right, so where's N7? Is this it? Something is sticking out. Interesting. An orthodox reliquary commonly found in Eastern Europe, now in a cell halfway up the Alps. Come on, let me scan. I know they had Kimahia here. At least they had sunlight. Hit from above. This one's looking more likely right now. Strange chlorine smell. Let's see what the third option is here. I'm gonna go with this one just because of the blood stain. Second little frogs. Frogs cannot choose. I surely can. That is the difference between frog and man. Second little frog gave up to its fate, which I chose for her and served on a plate. Abigail Immerzeal, bleeding, almost full tank, near the examination room. She lies with a shank. Second little frog dies in the walls of Black Hill. I see. Examination room These is our the next one. crates we found in London. I should take a closer look. Let's take a look, shall we? I doubt that one could survive such a journey with this little water. Dirt and the sweat. tin. They were locked in here for days, judging by the smell. Ah, oh, that kid's brother's here. This is the same design as the one from London. That kid's brother is gonna be here. Oh, that's not cool, man. The kidnappers even provided airflow. How generous. This trip was prolonged and perilous. That sucks. The stamp on this crate confirms it came from America. That's quite a distance to travel. Is that the one for Gerda? Don't want to go to that door yet. This sturdy doesn't break by accident. Oh, there it is. Blood. Substantial blood loss. One poor soul found another way out. So somebody committed sepulchre. That sucks. 
So do I have to go back to the examination room? Is it was I at the examination room? Hold on, I need to go back real quick. That's the laundry. That's the restricted. Fuck. Hold on. There's a thing I gotta do here. That's that one. Let's see what options we have here. Stretcher. Nope, that guy's not gonna be up. What's different here from the other one? Both are lying down. Now this one came out. So it's this one. Alright, I'm going to go back real quick. Just want to test something. Because there's an exam room. I don't know if it's here. Also, have I done all the things? Uh, did that one? I did that one. Did that one, and I did that one. Yeah, so it's just the second frog. This one. Did I? Was I in an examination room up top? That's the question right now. I don't know if that was an exam room or not. But I mean, I'm going to find out up here. I don't think this is the exam room. No. Okay. So that'll be ahead of us. What? says there's a pin somewhere around here. It's not that. It's not over here. Is it downstairs? So the pin comes up that when I get down here. Oh, here it is. Limping on the right leg. But Abigail couldn't escape. Well, it's clear that it was a multiple murderer. I'll send the profile to the police after we finish here. Oh, hell yeah. Feels superior to other humans and asserts himself at the expense of his victims. He calls them his little frogs, likely seeing himself as a kind of scientist who prepares his subject. Odds are he's meticulous, taking a long time to plan and prepare for each murder. Judging by the location of the crime scene, the killer is or was an employee of Black Edelweiss. I just got a stylish suit. And I can't even check it out right now. You know what? Let's check the bonus area. Oh, the royal garments. Oh, hell yeah. Look at how dapper we look. All right. So that's that. Now we can continue along. I just really wanted to do the frogs thing. Nope, oh, that's the laundry. Excuse me. It says there's two over here. Am I missing something from behind? I swear I was missing something here. We'll see if it stops me when I try to go through the door. The doors can be open for deliveries. Aha. Validate that real quick. The That's it. Were back through these doors, and they began to unload their cargo in secret. Next, the crates were opened, freeing their passengers. Not everyone survived the journey. Dirty, exhausted, and dehydrated prisoners were then herded into cells. Kimi, he is one of them. All the cells are now empty, and I have not located a morgue. Time to find Hell's door. Indeed. Is 
Is that? Foreigners must be taken through a hidden door after some preparation in the, cell, in the cells. Passage must lie somewhere near the back entrance. So it's got to be here somewhere. Aha! That's welded shut, but... Scratches. Scratches. Something has been moved through here. This seems to be a locking mechanism. The whole thing must be a door. Hmm. How to get the key. Try those. And Gerda's testimony. None were correct. What's going on, dude? It's been a while since I've seen you. Holy shit. How have you been, dude? Let's take a break anyway. This is a good time to take a break. Yeah, honestly, tell me, dude. It's been a minute. I've been at this game for a while, so I mean, like three and a half hours, like I'm ready to talk for a minute. Thinking of getting out of the army. Uh, Well, I got out of the Navy in 2017, my dude, and it's, uh, it's had its ups and downs, not going to lie. Made you want to run away to a hole. <laughs> but like, I've had my ups and downs. It was kind of down a lot when I didn't have my full rating from the VA. But once that happened, dude, I've been, I've been retired, like not working for the past three years. And it's crazy how far we've come ever since 2016 and finding each other on Overwatch. That's the plan, dude. Start setting up your VA stuff before you get out. I'm going to tell you that right now. Like, doing it before has a lot of benefits. You want to be like me when you grow up? You want to move to England, too? Because that's where I'm going in a month. I mean, it, it's been nice being retired. My dude, it's been really nice being retired. I'm not going to lie. But I mean, how are things going otherwise, man? Thinking Canada, but to be honest, anywhere but here. Yeah. Well, my girlfriend lives in England and we've been together for two years. So I'm moving out there to be with her. In literally one month, I am getting on a plane. But Canada seems awesome. You going to move to Letter Kenny? <laughs> You're still chugging. That's good, though, man. I'm glad to hear it. it it's really weird that we've been, like, we've been kind of, like, distant friends ever since we met that kid that sounded like Torbjorn on Overwatch in late 2016 when I was in Bahrain. And I believe you guys were close by as well, like Kuwait or something. And yeah, I'm I'm thriving pretty heavily right now, man. I'm doing pretty good. No, we just listened to Fire Emblem. It was faded. Dude, the day that three mil American military members load into a game of Overwatch, random two of them are already friends. They randomly find a third. And then there's also a, what was he, like Swedish or something? Dude sounded just like Torbjorn. It was fucking great. We had a laugh over that. Did I see right, by the way, you started like a podcast or something like that? 
Am I correct about that? It would have been a while ago. I want a very specific song. You think so? I mean, if you started a podcast, I think I saw it on like Instagram or something like that or Facebook. Yeah. I don't know, man. It, it was cool. I saw it. I was like, oh, damn, he getting into that shit. Let me look you up real quick. Hold on. Let me see if I can find the post that I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure it was on Insta. I'm not like I'm pretty sure, but I could be mistaken. My memory's not what it used to be. Yeah, there you are, Mr. Sable. Good year, and then you had to fizzle out with schedules. Yeah, it happens. Super Pixel Weekly, you got our archives. I knew I saw something about it. Oh, now there's a good picture. Your seventh year anniversary of being married. That's a good picture, my guy. I'm just looking through your Insta right now. I'm pretty sure I got you followed. Yeah, I'm following you. Wait, there's no way you actually have this tattoo. You actually have this fucking tattoo? You love the shit out of podcasting? Dude, get into streaming. It's just like podcasting, but you can do whatever you want. That boy is on your leg. No shit. That's fucking cool, dude. You and your out, your uniform out there with the camels and shit like that, dude. I gotta admit, dude, your wife's pretty cute. Good for you. Mr. Sable, it has been fucking forever, my guy. Oh, look at you, young you with your beret and everything like that. Oh, Jesus. When was this? Almost 10 years. Jesus. Why? Sir? You have some explaining to do? <laughs> Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I knew there was a reason we were friends. You have the Bobby Hill, that's my purse, I don't know you tattoo as well? No shit, dude. You're a meme. I love it. You planned on it in college? Did I ever show you that I got the Bruce Lee like hand tattoo where my hand is his hand? I actually got it done while I was in Bahrain. Jesus, dude. It has been so goddamn long. It's been a long, long time. Uh, but yeah, no, I got the uh, the Bruce Lee hand tattoo while I was in Bahrain. They're like, oh, is this so you can have Bruce Lee jerking you off? No, bro. It's just because it's funny. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. That was the only tattoo I got while I was in Bahrain. All right, so I need to get into Hell's Door. I don't think there's anything left in here. Hmm. Let's see if there's some more stuff. Just 
got to be something. Oh, man. But yeah, I'm surprised you're not like deep into streaming and stuff like that. You seem like you'd be pretty good for that. Do I need to go back? That's the laundry. That's the restricted. Yeah, normally I stream like COD, Rocket League, stuff like that. But I decided I would do a story game today. What if I go back back? Is there anything in here? Anything I missed? Where it's at. So I just needed to take a little bit of a break today and just kind of like do my own thing. Kicking it back with single point. Yup. Uh, let's see. Dermatillomania. Nail trimming every day. Do not untie her hands even if she won't stop screaming. That's great. Maurizio. Mania and disassociation. After the incident with the nurses, prescribed therapeutic fasting for a week. Mention Josephine just to make him more manageable. This is the guy that thinks he's Napoleon Bonaparte. Bonaparte. Keeps raising the dosage until she for Oh, keep raising the dosage until she forgets the child's stupor. Until she forgets the child's stupor is quite acceptable for Mariana. Nurse breakdowns do not allow any visits. All letters sent to the page must be destroyed. I think what I'll need is probably to talk to Maurizio again, right? My comrades in Paris shall hear about this. No, nope, that's definitely not the way. Hmm. Is there anything else in the storage room? This game is so extensive, man, and it's Lovecraftian, too. I love this shit so fucking much. It's not in there. Let's go upstairs again one more time real quick. No, there's nothing up here. This guy's still blocking the door. What about this? Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. Hmm. All right, back to the end room, then, in the restricted section. This Sherlock game plays really well, though. I will say that. Is it in the laundry room, maybe, somewhere? Hmm. There must be something that I'm missing. Can't click on anything. What am I missing? Ah, uh, we don't need that one, though. What is this one? This is the people. These are the medical evaluations. N4, N5, N6, N7. N7 is the one we're looking for. That's the patients. What am I looking for here? What am I missing? I'm going to talk to Gerda again. Maybe she's got something for me, eh? Making pay for what they did to Heidi. I found Hell's door, the one that made the foreigners silent, remember? How do I open it? Gerda, please, I cannot get inside. You have to tell me how to open it. How can you speak to me like nothing's wrong? Can't you hear Heidi crying? Look at her! She's Look. crazy. She's suffering. I can't even hear my thoughts over her screams. Poor, poor Heidi. We will fix you. I promise. We will fix you. Leave it with me, Gerda. Okay. 
So she's no help. That dude's growling. That is creepy. She continues to maintain that only Heidi knows everything. There won't be any answers until she's repaired. We'll require two buttons, thread, glue, and nails. Where do I find that stuff? It's not going to be in here, is it? So I need to repair Heidi for her. Nope, not down the restricted section. Where is all that stuff? Is it in here? She'll only help me after I've helped repair her doll. Uh, let me pin that. Can't interact with these guys. Maybe in the storage room? <gasps> yes. Nails. That's glue and nails. What was the other things? Uh, I found glue. I got the nails. I need thread and two buttons. Where am I going to find thread and two buttons? Maybe upstairs? Quite possibly. You would think this room would have some form of help. Hmm. Exceptions locked. This dude's still guarding the door. Done. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Come on. Um, uh, maybe in my cell? No. Maurizio, what do you know? Don't you look down on me. Open the door. I can't open the door. I don't have the key. This, this is one of the storage rooms, but I don't see anything. I'm just about searching everywhere at this point. Fucking walk around. Me. Excuse me? A pig in there? Hey, sirs, do you guys have um two buttons and thread I can have? It says I can talk to all of them, but I can't. Wait, that person's supposed to be dead. to be good as new maybe in here somewhere ah here we go all right let's go repair Heidi hey Gerda will this help fix your friend give it to me how is she feeling everything will be all right Heidi Jesus Gerda, I have a couple of questions. Yes, I... Don't be little mouth, Gerda. You've said enough already. Uh, uh okay. speak no more. Now it's only Heidi. You helped me, and I didn't cut out your eyes. So we're even. Now go! Oof! Uh... Heidi, there are things I need some clarity on. Ask if you dare, but if I get bored, there will be consequences. Oh my fuck, this is demonic. Are 
I found Hell's Door, but it's locked. Is there a way to get in? Hell's Door? Never heard of it. Sure. not true. You, Gerda, told me that Hell's Door makes people silent forever. And you believe that snotty little girl? I'll personally ensure that she never dares to speak again. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck? Let's see. Fuck, I gotta do it again. Heidi. Uh, so... I found he Hell's Door. Ah, uh, fuck, come on. I found uh, then it was Gerda thing. That's Let's see. Why does Heidi keep everything a secret? That's about a son. It's about Mauricio and all them. Professor Gygax hurt you repeatedly, scarred your body and mind. You are not protecting Hell's door. You are simply afraid of the consequences were I to enter. I could tap your teeth out with a hammer until you choked on the blood in bits. You could. <laughs> but then you would live the rest of your life in fear of Professor Gygax. I can make that feeling go away. How? I can stop her. But the key, Heidi, the key to Hell's door is critical to stopping Professor Gygax. And I think you know where it is. I have to pee so bad. Tell him! But you said, and now I say tell him! The Professor, she has a special key. Keeps it close and only brings it down when new people go through. Behind those closed doors, those people start to sing. Oh, they sing in so much pain. Gygax, of course. Thank you, Gerda, Heidi. I must leave. Leave? <laughs> you joke. Nobody leaves the Edelweiss. Now you will be with us forever. Jesus. I, I really got to pee, so one second. I will be, I, uh, uh, be back. Oh my god, one sec. All right, I'm back. Oh my god. Hey, thank you for the lurk, Don. I'll catch you in a bit, man. So, she just said... Professor Gygax is the only person capable of opening Hell's door. She must have the key in her office. Very true, very true. We'll have to make our way to her office. Which, I believe if I go back up top, that's the way I need to go. Let me pin that as well, real quick.
Is this guy still here? Darn. Still there. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. So then where do I go? Uh, let's see. Heidi's testimony about Hell, Hell's Door is going to go there. I need to find the other two pieces for this one. But I don't know how to get to her office. Like, I know where the storage room is. Oh, you're scraping on the ground. I thought you were hissing. Painting in a mental institution. Vogel would be delighted. Oh, I didn't even look down here. This photo was damaged seemingly by oil. I can make up the names listed here. What were the names? Fister, Huber, Gygax, and Becker. Fister, Huber, Gygax, and Becker. This is the old guy. Cooking grease. Is this the kitchen dumbwaiter? Looks like it's still operational. Interesting. See if those work. Those work. Watson could find it. Oh, Watson must be in the guest room that is beside Gagax's office. Perhaps he could acquire the key and use the kitchen's dumbwaiter to deliver it down to the storage room. Very true. How to get Watson for help? Hmm. Let's just test them all. Locked path upstairs. Use a patient to create a diversion. Patient declining to believe Napoleon Bonaparte could help uh, freeing him could create enough of a distraction to find a contact and contact Watson on the ground floor. Sick. Let's go. Maurizio, your time has come. Oh, is this really a good idea to let this guy out? <laughs> okay, so two. Perfect. We'll do three on the next one and one on the one after that. Not what I wanted to do. Cool. Uh, the next one I'm going to say is three and then two. And then we need a four. Perfect. Pick every lock. At last, you came to your senses. My humble apologies, Emperor. Spend your groveling, Englishman. Of course, <laughs> you are right as ever, for you see, time is of the essence. The royalists have risen again, and your darling Josephine needs you. Paris needs you. Mon amour. But the guards Manamo. upstairs in reception stand in your way. Ha! They will pose no problem for the likes of me. Merci, Englishman. When I return to Les Tuileries, I shall make you a general. Oh, you are too kind, Emperor. Now go. Your freedom awaits. I am coming, Josephine. Oh, no. <laughs> That's funny. Over here. Holmes, what are you doing here? And where did you get that outfit? It is unimportant. I require your assistance. Well, that is rich, because clearly it was unimportant to tell me what you were planning beforehand. Amos Corby? Your naivety was essential to sell the disguise. Actually, it wasn't. You should have trusted me. Watson, we can discuss this later. Time is of the utmost importance. The kidnapped people may still be here. This is what I know so far. What? 
You really found all this on your own. Focus. Basically just told him everything. I need you to find a key. It will be most unique. All the details are in my notes. Logic dictates that Gygax will keep it near her. Once acquired, you must get it to me. Perhaps the kitchen dumbwaiter could be of use. Holmes, I... I can't do this. I'm no spy. Yes, you can, Watson. You are unfailingly dependable. Damn right he is. That's why he keeps you close, because you're dependable. Dr. Watson, visitors are not permitted back here. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Kuntz. After the Mr. war, Kuntz. my nerves, I, uh, I fled all that commotion. It is nothing. A patient attempted to escape. He will not get far. Now, if you would like to follow me. Yeah. Blood in the water. Someone must have washed their hands here recently. Oh. What have we got ourselves into, Holmes? Did a child make these? Oh, shit. Heidi was up here. This thing still has bullets in it. Perhaps I should take this. For all, I hope it won't be needed. Another painting. The only reason to hang something this harrowing here would be to create another patient. So... I don't know where the office is exactly. This is the guest room. Give it to me. No, I don't want to. Why not? <laughs> Aviary? Minor birds, if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful creatures. Sad that they're caged here. <laughs> I want them to fly! Patient room two. I feel like taking a look around in here. <clears throat> Storm cuts through my senses, makes all my thoughts so blind. With no captain, I miss reason. What did they truly find? Cold and dark with grimy walls, roughly held like animals, trapped yet free. Why do I fall? Something squirms on the tip of the tongue, but it can't be. What did I forget? Struggling to remember something. I'm struggling to remember something. Steal another scan. Okay, we're fine in here. Trying to get all these scans in. That's the kitchen, which is where I need to go after her office. The director's office. Professor, I'm surprised you're not trying to catch that SKP. Please, my time is far too valuable. I hope Nurse Kuntz has been taking good care of you. He has certainly kept me out of trouble. Professor, it is time for your appointment with your next patient, Mr. Wolf. Hey, Mr. Wolf. Wait Wolf. Until tomorrow. I will just speak with Dr. Watson. Uh, as you wish. You I need to actually search her office. Director of this entire facility. Only the important ones. And yet I rarely get to pick the brain of a man like yourself. I think it is time we got to know each other, no? I'm afraid there's not much to know. I'm just an average chap living a rather prosaic life these days. Dr. Watson, those of us who pursue knowledge are anything but average. Now, who are you? A doctor. I'm a physician in search of a stimulating career. I have patients, yes, but admittedly, I'm more interested in the cutting edge of medical research. So when I read about the Black Abel Vice and your work on the healing of minds, I simply had to learn more. I suppose my Abel Vice was always destined to attract other curious minds. But before we continue, I want you to understand one thing. A broken mind can never be truly healed. Ah, I see. So, what exactly do you do here? It is simple. If you cannot fix a person's nature, you must force them to forget it. Surely there are other methods of treatment. How naive. You remind hmm. me of a man I once knew, Professor Becker. But we do not speak of him anymore. Uh, He's colleague? dead. The former director here. 
One day he realized that Edelweiss had outgrown him and had to leave. It's the back of that knife. Doctor? I was simply admiring your office, Professor. Apologies. While I am pleased it's the back of that knife. It's circular. And appearance, we were discussing bigger things. Was my conversation boring you? No, not at all. I, I merely... No, no. I understand full well. You're not seeking conversation. What do you mean? It is obvious. Your mind craves truth. But not in this form. You must witness a practical demonstration if you are to learn. I'm certainly intrigued. Would that be possible? Of course. I propose a journey between the jury of the human brain. You will not leave without being truly in Oh, fucked. Kunz, take Dr. Watson back to the courtyard. Then tell the nurses to prepare the operation room and the girl with the dog. Not Heidi. Our preparations will take a little time. I will come to you soon, Doctor. Ah, oh, they are just fucking with Heidi like crazy. I hope everything is to your liking, Doctor Watson. All right, we need nothing from him. This is our room. Then the kitchen's over here. Wait, what is this? Administration. This is the reception area. What if I just leave? I can't just leave Holmes here alone. I mean, I could. Can't go through that door. I hope you're finding your room comfortable, Doctor Watson. Sure. October 1879 is more serious treatment is necessary. My special patient Wolf will be transferred to patient room two on the ground floor. All of the patients must be removed from my schedule and reassigned to other specialists at the institute. The patient's mental state requires constant monitoring and immediate intervention to avoid undesirable con uh, ah, consequences. December. The necessary surgical procedures were successfully performed. Physical recovery is still in progress. Memory loss is increasing, but still not complete. New obsession with writing has developed, possibly as a side effect. We saw this guy. Patient's writing now mentions old names. Clear sign of partial memory recovery. Unacceptable result. Second surgery is required. Targeting both the frontal and temporal lobes. Surgery went well. The patient's memory does not persist for longer than a couple of minutes. Although an obsession with writing lingers. Danger eliminated. Daily monitoring prescribed. Professor Wolf. Good lord, that's a lot of records. Photograph seems recent. A commemorative photo album. Been a while since I've been in one of these. The fuck? Oh, Terrace, that is such a long time before responding to somebody. So we need to go talk to patient Wolf. Guest room. It's around here somewhere, I believe here. No, oh, it's the kitchen. I just want to go in here real quick. There's the dumb waiter. Did you hear that our patient escaped? Yep, sure did. Patient room two. This is Wolf. You are Mr. Wolf, am I right? Oh, hello. Who might you be? My name is Dr. John Watson. I wanted to talk with you, if you didn't mind. Ah, doctor. I don't suppose you could help. I, I oh, he is fucked up. I am. We're in the Black Edelweiss, Mr. Wolf. It's an asylum in Switzerland, and you are one of its most important patients. But why am I here? That's what I was about to ask you. I can't remember. Sorry, I, I can't remember anything. It's all right. You don't need to push. Try to relax. Let the thoughts come and go. Now, what comes to mind? Hmm. Mr. Wolf? Oh, hello. Who might you? Oh. We, we just went over this. I'm sorry, but I don't think we've met. 
We were just discussing this facility, the Black Edelweiss Asylum, and why you are here. That name does sound familiar. Holmes, the things I do for you. Excuse me, who are you? And who's this Holmes fellow? <laughs> I am Dr. Watson, and Holmes is, well, you could call him my imaginary friend. That's just a little joke, don't mind me. But why am I here, Doctor? Am I sick? I'm sure I can take a look. Let's observe him. He's got the cuts on his, uh, the two deep scars, the surgical incisions. One side of his face is paralyzed. Chemical burns. We saw something about Kate. This isn't Wolf. This is Becker. This is definitely Becker. Adult male with two deep surgical swords on the side of his head and a little chemical burn on one of his hands. Mr. Wolf, Mr. Wolf has some paralysis of facial muscles. Look, most likely the result of brain surgeries. Blue-gray pigmentation spots on his skin are likely due to the overuse of medication containing silver nitrate. Pierce's illness is a direct result of the treatment he has received here at Black Edelweiss. Ill in the treatment isn't working. Some paralysis of facial muscles, blue gray pigment and these symptoms are most likely pre-existing. Admission to the Black Edelweiss for treatment has so far failed to cure him. Ill due to the treatment himself. Excuse me? Uh, who are you? Oh, never mind. Hold on. There's a thing. It's more important to patient Professor Gileyax. This one, tattered. This is him right here. Uh, letter. No. No. Professor Gygax, I have suffered serious chemical burns upon my hand. Consequence of your inexcusable actions. This is Professor Becker. Session with Greta ended before it even began. Poor thing was so terrified she refused to talk, started to destroy everything in the room rather than let me approach her. What did you do to Greta? And will... What you did to Greta will not happen and cannot happen again. Let it be known that I consider your methods barbaric. My back this if I still believe. Oh. This is fucking him. Excuse me, who are you? I don't know why I keep doing this, expecting something different. He is Professor Becker. Sorry, what were we discussing? This area is off limits. A patient has escaped. That's the guy we need to draw away later, I'm sure. Okay, um. Let's see. Very important patient. No. Nah. No. No. Test that one. Fuck it. Oh, this was correct, but the other one wasn't. Seems to be just have to disapprove of the previous director, Professor Becker, who clearly believes herself as intellectual superior. Despite being director, she still treats patients only the important ones. A patient called Wolf is among them. Gaius does not intend to leave the office anytime soon. Um, try that one, I guess. We're just gonna be trying a whole bunch of stuff. Nope, that wasn't it. 
That's also not it. Also not it. There's not much left. Nope. Okay, so I don't have anything for this one. Why does Gygax care about Wolf? I know exactly why. Do that one. No, it's not that one. Try that one, I guess. It's just one of these. Um, old photograph. Wolf is the former director of Black Edelweiss. He's perfection, Professor Becker, the previous director of Black Edelweiss. Now suffers from severe memory issues, but still retains the ability to write. Cool. Got that one done. Well, then don't. Guest room. Oh, the reflection actually works. That's crazy. That looks cool. Uh, let's see. So we've got that one. I don't have it for this. Like, this is the only one that... Oh, wait. Oh shit, that was it? Use Becker to distract Gygax. Perfect. Let's go talk to him again. Can I change Watson's outfit at least? Nope, can't. You won't remember me, but we've met before. I am Dr. John Watson, and you are Professor Becker. You were the previous director of this facility, the Black Eagle Vice. Professor, really? Actually, that name does sound familiar. I fucking wait, knew it. Wait, let me write it down. I try to memorize the writing, but they always feel just out of reach. As a matter of fact, I have more for you to jot down. All right. Yes, please, anything. Professor Gygax did this to you. She made you forget everything, even who you are. But we will play a trick on her. We will write a letter so that she learns her lesson. Put down what I dictate. Dear Professor Gygax, your vile work has ruined countless lives through needless suffering. Your methods oh, serve nothing but good. to show your own sick emotional state. You are not, as you so claimed, the future of the Edelweiss, and you never were. And by the time you make it to my cell, the police will already know the truth of how you came to be director of this asylum. Signed, Professor Becker. There. Interesting. Now, hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is John <laughs> Watson. I'm a doctor from London, a veteran of Afghanistan, and I wish to be a writer, though deep down I fear I lack the talent. And presently, I'm risking my life to help my brilliant detective flatmate in the pursuit of a cult of kidnappers, even as I fear it may destroy him. I'm tired and hungry, and I have not had a good bath in weeks, and yet, despite it all, I... I feel alive. Any more questions? Good heavens, That was sir. interesting. You're as mad as they come. All right. To the director's office. Asked me to deliver this note. It's for Professor Gygax. Thank you, Doctor. Leave it with me. See you, buddy. I'm the lovely Kunz with me. So she's gonna leave, and now I need to go into her office to quickly get that knife. But I don't think this is the key. Oh, come on, that this is. is too small to be what Holmes asked for. 
Take it anyway. Oh, there's six fucking things. Eighteen seventy nine has been three months since I took over Edelweiss from Becker. Not all my colleagues approve of the rule change, so I'm now the only professor here. No matter the hiring of several strong nurses will solve the personal personnel shortage. At last, my work can flourish without the impairment of the lesser mind. The first payment has arrived from R. R. Our deal does persist, uh, does pose risks, but the possibilities are endless if it is true to his word. First shipment of the chosen ones has arrived. R has sent a vast selection of broken minds. The work ahead will be difficult, but undoubtedly useful for my own research as well. Two birds with one stone. Interesting. Dear Professor, we recently took possession of a collection of rare gems on behalf of our mutual acquaintance. The gems have now been sold to Louisiana Jewelers, New Orleans. Who made several offers far exceeding our experts experts estimate of the stone's value final sale price agreed upon for the 11 gems was 12,550 swiss francs our client has instructed that you receive two-thirds of this sum transferred to your solicitor as per usual as always our discretion is assured we look forward to continued business with you and your illustrious patron sincerely yours jeffrey scott representative of the ew gray banking house new orleans usa january 9th As I move, stuff happens. What else is there? Looking at all the items. I feel like this is timed, and that's not good. There is nothing. Not the knife. Come on, what is it? I just heard keys. Need to hurry. Oh, it's this. An Edelweiss relief about two inches in diameter. This must be what Holmes was after. Got it. I was wondering. Nothing else in the room except for this cup. Nothing special about this. That's just circular. To the kitchen. Time to go through Hell's door. This should be interesting. What an interesting run. Magnetic? I can't exit the same way. That's fine. Broken tooth, light colored in the enamel. Tooth of an adult male, likely lost in a beating. Only a couple of days old. Let's look under. The 
side of the cuff is worn. It's been used often. That's a good possibility, but I don't know. The writing is mostly gone. Phonetic symbols, perhaps. We must stay scientific about our search. A wax cylinder. There is something recorded on it. Interesting. So they go there for re-education? Okay. Oh, that's a head. She say Wakanda forever. Bank has the gems. My master has ordered me to send the first shipment of chosen ones. They will arrive within two weeks. Do not fail us. A. Who is A? Professor, trust my guide, the light of the abyss, for he shall enlighten the chosen ones. Make sure he is present, that our chosen utter nothing but the sacred words. And lo, the trance will begin, and we will be an inch closer to the universe beyond. Your work is essential, as many of our flock do not speak our language, and time is of the essence. It would be best to work in groups, performing at least one seance per day for a week. Of course, the most skeptical of members will have to be tamed by your hands. In the meantime, my work continues on a physical method to maintain the trance state through the emitted light waves of Khalid lenses. Finally, my men in New Orleans will contact you regarding the new shipment of Chosen. Make room for them before you, or for them as you have done before. R. Interesting. There's a key. Kind of want that key. Give me the key. Shiny key. It's good to know that it's shiny. Learn more about Gygax. Notebook of Professor Gygax. The new method at last started to show progress. The success rate is 4 out of 10. The failures are not responding to any external stimuli. Nevertheless, the phonetic system can be declared an undeniable success. Regardless of their native tongue or place of origin, individuals learn to speak the chant without flaw. They learn it quickly and fluently, despite lacking all mental autonomy. Regret regrettably, one of the Chosen continues to resist. Isolation and deprivation resulted in a strengthening of their disobedience. Negotiation only ignited anger, and even after the direct removal of the frontal eight and temporal lobes, seems all that was left was an innate, an innate desire to resist. The Chosen One cannot be allowed to pollute the minds. Uh, cannot be allowed to pollute the minds of the others. The conclusion is inescapable. They cannot continue to live. We'll see to that they are sent to the wall to the well. Interesting. Looks as if it's been recently used. Came in through that door. What's through this door? Oh. Stuff. Dynamo machine. Provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. Interesting. I hear birds. Full grain leather straps, impossible to escape. Oh, there are birds. A very oh, brain dissection. that's gruesome. I don't want to go through this way just yet. There's another door I want to go through. That's the chant. Oh, here's the well. I don't know if I want to go this way just yet. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out which way I want to go. Because there's still a room through here. Oh. 
Uh, there's a person there. I will check on them in a moment. Could that be... Kind of here? Oh dear God, is that... Body parts? Sure is. Judging by the remnants of blood and flesh, these instruments were used for dismemberment. Utterly inhuman. Well then, make it look back to you, gaze into the abyss. Oh, come on. That's cool. That's actually kind of awesome. Alright, now we can go down here. All right, so we're no back more. here again. Watson, John, somebody. We're blind. The fuck? Who the hell is that guy? Light of the abyss is the light from the abyss. Oh. Get out of my head. Sub basement contains a classroom where people blah 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 blah. blah. A bizarre man was being held in the sub basement. Vanished without a trace, he only left a pounding voice that repeats the light of the abyss. The man spoke about strange things and the coming of the great lord. I already read all this stuff. Oh. Uh, excuse me? Sure, let's see what's going on. Watson? Holmes, what are you still doing here? Still? I was trying to find more information. Did you think I was just going to sit in my room twiddling my thumbs? I only asked you to find a key. I had everything else under control. Says the man who looks like he saw a ghost. He is I looking very it. madness. You're hardly fine. You reek of congealed blood and chemicals. What did you see down there? Never mind me. Where's Gygax? I'm afraid she's over there. And I found her like that when I entered, on my word. What? She was our biggest lead. Yet another wrinkle in our investigation. What do we do now, Holmes? Hush. Who did think. it? Heidi was here. It was Heidi. The pencil is buried deep all the way to the brain. Instant death. No traces of blood on her clothes. Must have got on her white overcoat. The patients here wear the same robes. Hmm. It was definitely Heidi. Heidi, how did she well, Gerda. end up here? We'd better inform the local police about this. You're right, Watson. But first. We need to determine where our case goes next. Okay. Greens. Hmm. Let's just clear some. So I don't have so much to look at. Okay. Oh, where does the... E oh. Evidence is New Orleans.
There we go. We're going to New Orleans. Several pieces of evidence now point to New Orleans. It appears that the kidnappers have enlisted the services of the banking house of E.W. Gray to sell gems. We've got what we needed, Watson. This conspiracy reaches... He's looking more and more mad. I don't suppose you've ever been to New Orleans? You are joking. I used to live there. Let's go. There's no time to waste. Oh, at least we could put on regular clothes again. <laughs> there is nothing in this world that cannot be explained with logic and reason. Nothing in this world. Holmes? Hmm? You seem troubled. I am not troubled, Watson. I am preoccupied. That place was awful. Inhumane. It would be natural to experience some feelings of shock or fear. Men reduced to gibbering imbeciles, numb beyond recognition, powerless to help themselves. When a doctor does go wrong, they are the first of criminals. They have the nerve and they have the knowledge. That woman did not deserve the title. <clears throat> such casual cruelty for such selfish aims. I knew another man like that once. He treated my mother, perhaps even killed her, depending on who you ask. My sincere condolences. In the end, she was just a shadow of herself. The outline of the person I recognize, lacking all else. She was pushed until she cracked. Should you see me cracking, John? I must ask you to intervene. Nothing compels us to pursue this matter further, Sherlock. We can return to London. Report what we have discovered. Let more capable hands take over. Alas, there are no such hands. Were we to abandon our quest now, I fear no other would succeed in our stead. We know nothing of what awaits, what dangers lurk in the darkness. Nonsense. We draw nearer to New Orleans with every passing minute, and thus closer to the answers we seek. Those answers, for all their perversity and improbability, will nevertheless be the work of men. And that is a work I have studied well. Mm -hmm. So be it. I'm excited to see what happens. I know you to be a diligent author, but if I may make one request, kindly omit my mother and her suffering from your tale. Of course. Thank you, John. This game is so good. It's a little iffy here and there, but it's good. The Nymph of Louisiana. The Outsiders. It was a good book. Oh, look. Ah, oh, Holmes. After our trip to Nippy, Switzerland, I can certainly use some of this new world heat. Do not get carried away, Watson. What we could certainly use... Looking okay, more and more questions. unshaven. I know. But you look exhausted. Why don't we find the hotel first? We shall rest when our investigation is over and not a moment sooner. I shall ask you to handle our bags while I search for the bank. As you wish. Oi! Stop it, you! Our luggage! <laughs> Good lord, what have you done? That's my stuff. I'm sorry, mister. All right. it, it was an accident. All right. Well, that's going to end it for today. We'll call this part one. We're going to pick up for part two tomorrow. Absolutely. So thank you everybody for coming and thank you everybody for sticking by for a little while and I will catch you tomorrow. Have yourselves a